do the transition in the studio. Yeah, mode. just show me that real quick. So, yep, that. Okay. Alright, does this sound good? I can't hear you. I'm totally good. But I'm sure it does. Okay, and then where's the table one, just so I know? Hayden's hot now. Hayden's hot, and Hayden's where's the hot. table, Mike? This one? This one right here. Yep. Hayden? Not yet. Not yet? If you need this, come get me real quick. Okay. I'll check on you guys in a second. Alright, so I'm hot now, right? Good? Okay, go. Cool. You want to transition to the table, Mike? Transition it over? So, if you want to transition so they can see you. Okay. Now they can see you. Now? All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. We're getting ready to kick off in about 10 minutes. I am Paul Tassoni, a.k.a. Gator. I'm going to be commentating tonight with Hayden 14. He's about to walk into the door. We are kicking off with a action-packed lineup tonight. We're going to start the game off with OFC Kitty, Danny Marks, Moneymaker, Carlos, Frankie from Next Gen, RV Phil, gentleman named AJ, and Sam Clark Poker. I am happy that you guys are here. So let's get in here and watch some big pots. Me kicking off the stream in about eight minutes. Shout out to everybody in there. I see Lego in the chat. I see Poker Monkey in the chat. A couple of regulars in the chat. How are you guys today? What's up? The mic's hot. It is hot. Let me try to get you in this way. Dude, that picture is awesome. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yesterday was hot. Yeah, I'm going to uh, put the camera on us and do a little, a little intro. 
A little intro for the for the people out here. Let's get this on. transition out to over there. All right. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining the Poker House live stream today. Five, ten and a quarter. No limit. Hold'em game going down today. I got Hayden Fortini in the booth with me today. What's and up, y'all? I am Paul Tsuni, a.k.a. Gator. I'm going to be here playing tomorrow. There's going to be a giveaway tomorrow because I'm playing. <laughs> What's the giveaway? <laughs> My money. <laughs> oh. Gonna, All right. There's also a giveaway tonight from Danny Marks. He's giving away money today is what he told me. So come on down and grab a seat. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Got to be on the table. I was joking with him yesterday. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> looks like we're going to be kicking off about five minutes and 20 seconds. What's going on, chat? Look at Reina's in here. I see Lego in here. Poker monkey. Got 10 viewers going on. How's everybody today on this fine... Friday night. It's been a pretty nice day out today. Beautiful day, man. Yeah. Did you do anything outside today? Sat outside and ate. <laughs> sat outside and ate. That's not <laughs> bad. Made a little breakfast. And yeah. All right. Sat outside. It was yeah, nice. It was a really nice day. Beautiful. Spent some time with my son. Awesome. That's always good. That's it. That's all I That's did. That's good. Sounds like a good day. It was nice. It was fun. The weather's played, been up and down, you know? Yeah. yeah. I played some one, two here. Good games. As always. Go? I lost uh, $3. What a run. What a run. Yeah, I played for, <laughs> played for three hours, lost a dollar an hour. Man, that's a good rate. Yeah, not bad. Negative you know? dollar an hour. Yeah. Could be worse. Could be better. Could be worse. Could be way worse. Yeah. Could be way worse. Yeah, I played a little one, too, with German Moneymaker. That was fun. He got called down by deuces on a ace-king <laughs> blank board. <laughs> <coughs> I'm assuming he lost. He did lose, yeah. This guy trying to send him back to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Fun times. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited for the stream. we got a great lineup. Yeah, we have a really fun lineup tonight. Um, looks like we're going to have OFC Kitty, Danny, Marks, Chris, uh, Chris Moneymaker, the German one. Carlos is here. Frankie from Next Gen. RV Phil. I don't know AJ, but... AJ played last week. He played last week? He is uh, Sam Niner's brother. Oh, yeah, he, he was in the He week. was in the three seat. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, so he's coming back. Yeah. Sam Clark Poker's here. Yeah, we've got a good good group. Great game. Be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. So is this Kitty? Is Kitty playing tomorrow, too? Or is this her last night? I don't know if Kitty's playing tomorrow. Yeah, I, I know she's playing, playing today. I saw her on her Twitter. Played, she played yesterday. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just been here all night, and RV Phil's been on a sick heater, man. This guy is on fire. Let's see what happens tonight. Maybe yeah, he's going to continue he, the he sick continue run. Continue it, yeah. I haven't seen a run like this in a while. He's he's just smashing. Hey, everything. Frank, how are you doing tonight? What's up, Frank? Thanks for being here. <coughs> all right, all right, getting ready to kick off in about three minutes. So, do you know who's playing tomorrow? Besides you. Uh, Do you know who's coming to get donations tomorrow? Yes. Danny's coming to donate to me. Okay. Or I'm donating to him. One of the two. One of the two, yeah. <laughs> Probably Chris Moneymaker. Uh, I think Sam's playing tomorrow. Um, I think Sam Niner's playing tomorrow, too. Okay. Um, from what I've seen in the lineup, looks like they're going to make some gator boots tomorrow. <laughs> 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 All right. That's cool. It's about time, though. You, you've, you're, you like, undefeated on Saturdays, huh? You've yeah. Had a good, you've yeah, had a good don't run. ruin it. You've had a good run. Hey. It's been a good run. <laughs> <laughs> With the lineup tomorrow, it's going to be a little bit hard to continue that run. Yeah. Are we doing Texas Roadhouse tonight? What's the... Uh, I mean, if you want Texas Roadhouse tonight... I might. I'll we'll see if I'm I hungry. Mean, if you're hungry. I yeah, mean, yeah, if you look at see. me, I'm always hungry. You're always so, hungry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Those rolls last time were good. <laughs> yes, they were. Yeah. I went and ate at uh, Chamberlain's. They get good bread there, too. Chamberlain's. Yeah. I haven't been to that one. Where is that one? <clears throat> it's probably about, I don't know, around 10 minutes from here. Okay. I, I couldn't tell you where it's at. It's I could like just a, tell you this, like 10 minutes. Fancy steakhouse? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 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 not, like, super, super expensive, but yeah. it is a nice steakhouse. So uh, you you got to check out Texas. That, I, I want to go there. That place is bomb, dude. Do they get good in, bread, though? Uh, I don't really remember, but everything was good. Everything was good. Tiny Poker's going to be in the booth tomorrow. 
means you're going to get to see Gator get tore up, and they're going to make some Gator boots tomorrow. Well, I hope not. Hope not, yeah. <laughs> hope not. You've made some Gator boots recently. I know. I need to continue. <laughs> <laughs> Diaper money. Diaper Diapers money. Diapers are expensive, man. Yeah, they no they are expensive. No joke, yeah. They are. No joke. <laughs> Wives are expensive, too. Yeah, everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everything. Life's expensive. <laughs> Poker's Ooh. expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is fun. We got a uh, kitty. We're looking at kitty and Frankie here on the thumbnail. Got yeah. Frankie's joining us back. He's taking a little hiatus from the stream, so he's he's coming back in there. It's time to come in. Come in hot tonight. Come in hot tonight. Yeah, he's looking for a good run, and uh, always happy to have kitty back with us on stream. She's always fun to watch. She's played on the stream before. Besides she yesterday, has. she played about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. I want to say. Okay. She was here for a week. She played Friday. And she played Sunday on the next gen stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, Very she cool. she wrecked both times. Yeah, so she's looking to uh, continue that right. streak. Yeah, <laughs> she did well yesterday. Yeah, she did well yesterday. Oh yeah. Uh, I heard she might be leaving a little early tonight, so we'll see. Oh, she did let us know ahead of time. Yeah, she might be leaving halfway through, so we may get a new player. Okay. Change things up, but yeah. We'll have a fun stream. It looks like we're going to be kicking this stream off. Let's get off to the races here. Let's get off to the races. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in at the Poker House Live here in Dallas. We're going to kick this 5, 10, and a quarter game off. Everybody in the game for $5,000. Let's bring up the players tonight once again. Seat one, we got OFC. Seat two, we got Kitty out here from Las Vegas. We have Danny Marks in seat three. Moneymaker. Seat four, Carlos, seat five, Frankie from Next Gen, seat six, RV Phil sitting in seat seven, AJ sitting in seat eight, and Sam Clark Poker in seat nine. We're going to have a banger of a stream tonight, I think. There's going to be a lot of action tonight. So I'm rooting for it. How big of a pot are you thinking tonight? What's going to be the biggest pot tonight, Hayden? I'm going to say 18,200. 18,200. You know what? I'm going to take the over because life's too short to bet on the under. All right. What are you taking? You got a number of mine or just over? I'm gonna go over, but I'm gonna put a number out there. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go eighteen thousand and uh seven hundred. Slightly nice over. <laughs> Slight slightly oh, over. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, eighteen thousand seven hundred. You heard it here, folks. I think we might get over twenty K. Definitely the potential in this lineup to get a big, big pot. I shot a little low actually. The potential's definitely the potential here. is here. Got some big name players. They're used to Used to playing these stakes, comfortable. They've all played with each other before, so the chips will will be flying, that's for sure. I'm excited to see it. Looks like we're going to kick off with a $50 flip from everyone. Oh, RB's at the table. The, the biggest pot's definitely bigger than this. This man's, <laughs> this man's average stream is like plus 30K. <laughs> well, now, now we're talking. That's what the people want to see. All right, we're kicking off on hand one here for the $50 flip. Here, Carlos just said you're fantastic. You know what, Carlos? Thank Shout out to Carlos. Shout Thank to you Carlos. so much, Carlos. What about me, Carlos? Yeah, what about Hayden, <laughs> Carlos? He's not a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> we talked pre stream. He's like, oh, you're commentating again? <laughs> Man. Carlos, one of the funniest people you'll play poker with. He is, he is comical. I've sat beside him, and some of the stuff he says is really funny. He's a fun guy to be around. And, and well-dressed with the Louis Vuitton sweater on. Carlos, I'm going to need that sweater. Always looking sharp, dude. Always sharp. All right, who's got hearts here? That's going to win this. Uh, Nobody so far. But Carlos has one. Let's see. There we go. Now we're Someone, popping up. Someone's got to have him, right? Oh, oh Danny. Oh. Danny has the Looks like AJ's got plus, a king's full. But looks like, uh, yeah, yeah. turned a boat. Looks like king's full for AJ, plus 400. Off to a good start here. Yep, kicking it off with plus 400. See, if you wouldn't have been playing one, too, you could have got plus 400 on a flip. 
I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, enjoyed listening to you and Danny uh, call the game yesterday. Oh, I appreciate great that. Great game, man. Danny great was game. Danny was great to commentate with. Yeah, he was dropping a lot of knowledge. He's, he's a knowledge dropper. I told him. <laughs> he said he's charging a lot for that book. Um, there's a chapter on how to flop sets. Oh yeah. Yeah, he said he said there's a chapter that lets you know how to flop sets every time. Charging a lot for it though. Oh, okay, that I pay. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> just flop a set every yeah, time yeah. you got a pocket pair. No big deal. <laughs> could you imagine if like you could just flop a set every single time? It's funny when you're. Have you ever been on one of those runs where you're just like running super hot and you like you don't miss. You just expect to flop a set. Like when you're a pocket <laughs> pair, you're just like you just like expect it to happen and it just happens. And it just like, happens. It's so weird, right? You think you, like, oh man, seven, bang, there's a seven. You you feel it, right? Yeah, it's sometimes, really weird. Sometimes like some sessions you're running so good, or you're just like on a sick run for like a few days, and it and just doesn't stop. Yeah, and you're just like I just expect to flop a set, and then you just flop it. It's just unbelievable. But then I'm always like. When's it going to stop? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Poker's an interesting game. Yeah. All right. Looks like um, almost everyone started with 5K today. Frankie's starting with three. And we're going to kick it off with the actual hand one now after the flip. Five, ten and a quarter. Probably... If I were if I were to guess, there's going to be a fifty dollars straddle, for sure, around the table eventually, really soon. Kitty in the hijack, folding the old ten four. Danny, he's got a good blackjack hand. Yep. I don't I don't suggest playing it in this game though. Double down. Double down. And Frankie's got a good blackjack hand too. He's got twenty one. <laughs> he's got a good poker hand as well. He's got a three bet. He is. Money maker of the old King 8 on the button. Yeah, and RV. This man's been running hot. He's not folding the Queen 9 of hearts. He's coming in with a call here. He has a lot of good equity versus this Ace King here. He does. It's very live. Very live. Let's see what happens to the old RV Phil. That's going to be pretty tough to win this one. Beautiful flop for Frankie. Frankie with the top top. And if Frankie does make a small bet, we might see RV continue here. He's got backdoor flush draw. He does fold though. And RV just straight out of there already. Good hand, Frankie. All right, Frankie. Frankie's starting off pretty decent here, winning $390 there. Looks like the action is going to start on Sam Clark. <laughs> Danny with the ace nine off, raising the 75 in the hijack. Gonna take it down. Yeah. AJ's just going to fold that 10-4. Who's going to be the first one to put the straddle on? Is it going to be OFC? I think it might be OFC. It's going to be OFC <laughs> or whoever <laughs> OFC talks into doing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes he's like, let's play one round of 25 and then, and then straddle, yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and, and then all of a sudden it becomes Yeah. I feel forever. like he wants everyone to realize that it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, let's keep it. I really like the game with four blinds. Yeah. I think I think one two should just be two 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 and two. It's interesting with with more blinds for sure. It is. There's no charts for it really. That's why I like. Can't you, we? It's can, hard to study. We can create one. It's good for yeah. It's good for you with your your brain farts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, looks like he's gonna kick it up here under the gun with the old six four. Oh, looks shooting. like they got some nip buttons. They might be playing oh, the nip game. Oh, there we go. Like that, Kenny with Shout a out hand. To Mark Wee, he actually got those buttons made. I was playing with Mark Wee yesterday. Dude, he's a, he's awesome, dude. That man is a lot of fun to play with. Yeah, he's a great guy. 
And if you're looking for uh, real estate in the DFW area, definitely hit up uh, Mark Wee. Oh, he's he, a real estate he's, agent? He's fantastic to work with. He helped us, uh, okay. he helped us with our, our house. Very nice. He's excellent. Very, very experienced. AJ with the ace jack of hearts. And looks like oh, she's going to call and Kitty three bet it pre flop. Ace queen. Yeah, Kitty's in a good spot here in position. Best hand. But. And gets out flopped by yeah, AJ. Great flop for AJ. Kitty's going to see bet. Looks about 300. They would definitely see AJ at least call here. Yeah, definitely that. OFC, I'm sure, is getting right out of the way. Nine of diamonds on the turn. Picks up a little bit of equity for Kitty. Yeah, let's see if she tries the double barrel here. She's just going to check back and try and realize her equity. It's kind of a tough card to bluff on. Yeah, Next with a lot of hands, AJ. I don't, love, I don't love that card for her hand. The the king could have been an interesting card for her to bluff. Mm -hmm. She chose to check it. Especially with Ace of Diamonds. A little surprising. Oh, she would have made a flush. Oh, she would have made a flush. And uh, AJ takes down the hand. Nice, nice pot, AJ. Rick, got 40 viewers in the chat tonight. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for coming here and watching the stream. Yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. And look at no, this. Oh, Danny, Danny with the aces. two aces. I said he was going to give away money, but it doesn't look like he is. Maybe it's the commentary run good. It might be. Get some commentary run good. <laughs> I hope I run this good tomorrow and just get aces immediately. Within five hands. Oh, so he's going to defend. It's not a man to fold his, his big blind. That is a man who protects oh. and flops to pair. Like we might have spoken too soon here. We may have. Let's really brutal happens. flop here for Danny. That is Danny C betting 100. No, oh, she, she just called. Yeah, she's calling. Right? And the turns four clubs. Obviously leading. Very interesting. 300. Danny's definitely going to call here. I don't really see a reason to raise. Danny doesn't have the ace of clubs. Yeah. He just calls. He does just call. And three of hearts. Lock the board up for OFC. So he's interested to see if OFC, he is going to go for value here. Do you think Danny's going to call? It's a tough spot for Danny. It is. Um, o OFC's, a lot of his bluffs got there. A lot of his like semi-bluffs on the turn got there. I feel like he has a lot of sevens. Has some two pairs. A lot of OFC hands are definitely there this on that is board. OFC's run out. This is, <laughs> as we can see, it was his flop. I think I'd probably lay down the aces here. I feel like he has it more times than not. Right. Danny in the blender. Yeah. And I think it looks like Danny. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't want to fold the aces the here versus OFC. I mean, you can't fault him for calling. I don't hate him for calling, but no, he does pay it off. see the bad news. Yeah, brutal spot there for Danny. Yeah, really unfortunate. Well, well played, OFC. Like I said, OFC is a magician. He's a magician. He's the only man that I know that can take king five and flop two pair. <laughs> Just <laughs> Pete aces immediately. Moneymaker repping his poker bankroll tracker. You know, I heard if you yeah. ask him what it is, he gives you $5. Really? Yeah. I'll have to ask him. I know. I know what it is. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask him. I'm going to ask him tomorrow, see if he pays me 5 Yeah. Even though he talked me into using it. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the only $5 I ever went off of it. <laughs> AJ on the button. 
The old 9-8 off. Kick it up here. 75. Looks like the quarter straddles are already. Or I mean, oh no. Yeah, just they're already quarter playing right the quarter. Now, just the quarter. I forgot. I forgot we're playing five ten and quarter, not five five ten. Yeah. Looks like nobody really flops anything here. And yeah, AJ should probably take this down with the C bat. Let's, he should, but you know, oh, she's got um he's other one, plans. He's one sticky man. He says, uh, you know what? I think he got 9-8 high. My ace-8's good. Yeah. Here's a <laughs> four of clubs. He's right. See if AJ can find a double barrel here. I think it should work if he does. His instincts are spot on. He's going for it. It looks like he's going for it. And let's see what happens. Puts OFC in a it, tough spot. If OFC could call the flop, though, he can call the turn. And he does call the turn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> Let's see. That always surprises me. Six of diamonds on the river. Let's see if OFC goes for check call once again if AJ barrels it one more time. <laughs> this should work if he bets again. I mean, man. This is a really tough call. Looks like he's going to check, though. I think he's going to give up. Yeah, he's yeah. Gonna, gonna looks give like up he's going to give up. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of brutal there, and you bet twice and you lose the ace high. You're just like, man, <laughs> that is, really? <laughs> that's pretty tough, man. But gonna just let it go. <laughs> that's that's OFC. It's OFC for you. OFC for you. So we got a little drama here for some of these players. Like, I don't know if you saw the hand RV Phil one against. Uh, against Carlos maybe no. like three weeks ago. So he had the nut straight against second nut straight. Uh -huh. He didn't slow roll. I know RV, Phil, I know he wouldn't slow roll intentionally, but he does take his time in big spots. And it was like a bet, on big bet on the river by RV, Phil, and a shove by Carlos. Right. And he took maybe like 10 seconds, just to make sure he had the nuts, just to make sure like, you know, he didn't snap, make a decision to call him. Carlos felt like he might have slow rolled him a little bit on that one. Oh well. Wow. So um, Carlos said he w he's looking for revenge tonight. So <laughs> <laughs> he told me before the stream. He said I'm coming for I'm coming for Phil. So uh, we'll see uh, we'll see what happens. Should right. be fun to watch. Let's see what happens. Sounds like there's a vendetta. Yeah. Out there tonight. Oh, see with the seven six off. Danny raising it to a hundred with two fives. The speed limit hand, but it sure ain't the speed limit here in Texas. The speed limit here like 75 depends on the highway you're on 70 <laughs> right. on a lot of them right five yeah so yeah 75 on a lot of them actually right <clears throat> and danny turning a set what a turn for danny what a turn does he get a little revenge on ofc this hand and ofc just makes the correct fold he does God, this guy just i feel like he makes the right decision every time <laughs> That's why he's a magician. He's a man. He is a man. He's a man. He's best. Looks like they're starting oh, the they're Nick starting game. The Nick game. What, what's, we'll see what the penalty is on it. Yeah, I'm interested in hearing it. I'll turn up the, the table out here. Sounds like 50 a person. <laughs> 50 a person? 50 a person, yeah. Ooh. That's how you lose a good 450, 400. Yeah. yeah. Which isn't that much in a game like this. No, it's not. It's like a three bet. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a three bet, but it sure does get spicy when it gets uh, down to the last two. Yeah. I played that for the first time on Wednesday. Really? Yeah. I lost twice. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I noticed that everyone was going nuts during the net game, and I was like, it was only $10 a person. I was like, I'm just not going to spew a bunch of money. <laughs> we'll try to buff these people that don't want to fold right now. Right. So if I'm card dead, like, I'm just just, just going to let them have the pot. <laughs> let them have it. <laughs> but I love games like that. It's, they're fun. Me too. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Looks like Frankie's kicking up the old ace jack here under the gun, plus $175. OFC, he's on the button. He's going to protect the button. A6 offsuit. Okay, he's going to fold. I think we're going heads up here. A heads up. King 4-9 board. It's a 
good flop for Frankie to see bet, but he doesn't. He checks. Turn five of clubs. Yeah, good turn for Frankie here. Frankie dealing one with a flush draw. Frankie going to win this putt unless he ends up folding. An OFC bet 200. Oh, he did. <laughs> OFC took an immediate shot on the river. Yeah, very, very fast bet. Targeting the hand just like Frankie has, trying to get a better A side of fold. Yep. Tough spot for Frankie. And he gets it through. And it looks like OFC, and OFC is I mean, getting rid of the He's almost button. never going to lose the Nick game, ever. Like, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. If I were that to bet the guy that's bang. not going to lose it, it's OFC. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. He's I like hope he's lot. playing tomorrow. He probably is. I hope he is. He's one of my favorite guys to play with. Yeah, he's, he's a lot fun. of fun. He's, he's a lot of fun. fun. Yeah. He's he likes great, to talk. He's he likes to play. Yeah. I, I enjoy playing with him, too. Absolutely. I don't enjoy having him on my left. Me neither. But I enjoy playing with him. <laughs> Uh, 61 viewers in the chat what's up everybody all right thank you guys for being with us tonight yes thank you so much for watching <laughs> here on the f five ten and a quarter live stream at poker house dallas and again we got hayden fortini in here and paul tassoni in here commentating trying to bring you the best action tonight See Frankie here under the gun, the Queen Jack offsuit, raises 75. Danny in the small blind. He was thinking about something for a second. Carlos with the best of it. King Queen off. Looks like they're going to a flop of 10, 5, 3, 2 spades. Carlos, still with the best of it, and the backdoor flush draw. Yeah, it goes check, check. Check, check. Turn, deuce of diamonds. Carlos leads here. I think this pot is his. I think so. Uh, it might be whoever's aggressive on this pot. So yeah. Frankie's going to Frankie bet. going for the delayed C bet. Takes it down. And Carlos lets it go. Frankie, Frankie's going to be happy to get rid of that nip button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Carlos just looking at him. <laughs> Grilling him. <laughs> <laughs> Young man. <laughs> I had you dominate it. <laughs> so you got two bluffs so far. Taking down the nip button. Get, yeah. Getting rid of the nip button, I'll say. <laughs> oh man it, it creates a fun dynamic it does make the game really interesting oh so it looks like they're doing it the opposite way of where we did it where if you have the button in front of you you're already safe we all originally got a button and then turned it in oh really yeah. so if you have the button if you you're had safe it, this time yeah I guess that's what it looks like cause okay. it looks like OFC and Frankie both have one they're the only ones that have one pot right okay and OFC says, I'm no nit. I'm playing the 7-6 off. doesn't matter if I already won the game. It doesn't matter if I won the game. I'm, I'm going to win the VPIP game. Oh, Mr. Moneymaker is picking the call. I think. Did he call or did he raise? Looks like he just oh, called. Oh, 200 to call. Yeah. Okay. I see Danny raise it to 200. Yeah. And Moneymaker, two sevens. Yeah. And uh, Moneymaker, I would say he's probably one of the favorites to lose the Nick game. <laughs> <laughs> if he flops a seven in this hand, maybe he not. Flops a seven, he he should be good. <laughs> Bad news for OFC though, because he has a seven in his hand. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, he, he flops a seven. It. And seven uh, eight king. Oh, RV with middle pair here. OFC with bottom pair. Just bets one hundred. Wow. 
And Moneymaker says, Moneymaker in a sweet spot here. And Danny might be thinking <laughs> about bluff raising here. Right. Um, Moneymaker's not losing the knit game on this one. Yeah. And Danny thinks thinks better of it. And uh, Moneymaker coming in for the check raise here. Big sizing. I think he's really hoping that Phil has a king. Yeah, this is probably just going to take this down. Straight draw. I'm sure oh. OFC's going to fold. And he's he's going to win. He's got to show bottom set. <laughs> You're going to be like, hey, you are a knit. <laughs> Give him the net button. He said he ain't going to lose a knit game if he flops a seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good call. There it is. <laughs> Now, who else has the uh, still in there? Danny's still in there. Carlos still in there. Yep. Uh, only only OFC Moneymaker and uh, Frankie's the only ones that are safe right now. Yep. And three that are safe. I would say RB Phil's another guy that is probably never going to lose the Nick game. <laughs> <laughs> going to be tough. Habib would like this game. If he comes back to the stream. Oh, yeah. He's never losing either. No. <laughs> never. <laughs> Might as well just hand them auto he, buttons. He's probably going to win the first hand. <laughs> <laughs> right. Either him or OFC are going to win the first <laughs> hand. <laughs> Moneymaker, the king five suited, raising the 150. And RV Phil. A six off. AJ. King Jack. Looks like he might raise. Mm -hmm. But he just makes a call. Ace, Jack, Deuce. RV Phil. Flopping the best of it with top pair. AJ with second pair. Yeah, great flop for RV. Moneymaker going for the C-Bet here. It's not going to work out. I don't think so. Harvey's got top pair. He is getting a definite call. And he's he's very sticky. <laughs> AJ might peel one off here. I'm not 100% sure, but I think he will. Yeah, I, I, I think he's going to call here. He does. He's got some things going on. Yeah. His middle pair. A lot of good turn cards. For sure. Ten of clubs. Ten of clubs. It's a small improvement for AJ. And RV Phil leading out here. RV Phil. 600. Puts AJ in a tough spot. Really tough. Yeah. He's got middle pair. He picked up a gut shot. Straight draw. He makes a good good fold. Mm -hmm. Moneymaker's going to get out the way. Yeah, Moneymaker folds. And uh, looks like RV Phil's going to not yep. lose the knit game. He's giving him the button. He is safe. He is safe. All the favorites to win the knit game has already won. Yep. <laughs> Except the <laughs> that's true that. So who do we got left? We got AJ, Sam Clark, Carlos, Kitty, yep. and Danny. So who do you think is going to be next? Next to win the pot? I'm going to go Kitty. <sighs> I'm going to say AJ. All right. I like AJ's chances. He's he's hungry. Let's see what happens. Looks like the fifty is on. OFC, the ace jack, probably gonna bump it up here. Looks like he's making it two hundred. RV Phil, King 10 off. What do you think RV Phil is going to do? You think he's going to raise or he's going to call 200? I think he's a favorite to call. Okay. And he does call. AJ, Queen 7. Not much you can do there. Sam Clark with the old 5 3. You get in the mix. 5 3 yeah. hearts. It's a good opportunity for Sam Clark to um, to be safe as well. And good flop for OFC. 
Yeah, great plot for OPC. And the Jack would be a disaster for him. Absolutely. And I think we're probably going to see Phil at least call one time here. Um, and the yep. way Phil's been running, I would not be surprised to see a Jack <laughs> roll off. Here it comes. Close. Nine of clubs. Harvey Phil still with the gut shot. Checking with OFC. OFC, I assume, is going to bet here. Yeah, I think he is going to make a bet. Yeah, probably, and probably pretty large. Five, six, hundred at least. Like he's going for like... Over pot size, 850 bet. maybe. It looks about 850. 850. I like the. I like it. Love it. Puts RV in a tough spot. I think for this price, he's got to get. I think he's gonna get rid of his his gut shot straight draw here. Oh yeah. RV Phil, thinking about calling here. If he does call, can he hit a miracle on the river? And he's calling. He does make the call. And it's like he knows if a jack rolls off, he's going to get the rest of the chips. <laughs> I know. And it doesn't I mean, yeah, come. It doesn't come. Three of clubs. But does RV Phil have ill intentions for the river? He oh, does. He oh, does. Oh, my what God. What a sick play by Phil. What is going on? <laughs> check call, check call. And shove. Open Rip River. And I have to say, this is like a interesting line. I feel like when a lot of people take this line, they actually have it. Right. It depends on the player, but I feel like a lot of players do this when the draw is missed to try and make you think that they, they missed the draw, right? I see that a lot. Someone did it to me earlier out there on the one, two streets. But this is a different game. This, this is 5, game. 10, 25. It is. And uh, RV Phil came to play. And this is RV Phil and OFC. And I love it. And yeah. RV Phil and OFC have history. This is the action that the viewers yeah. want right and I know here. RV Phil wants the OFC so bad. Man, so if he gets this through, he's going to show it. I know gonna, he is. He's going to throw the cards right in his face. <laughs> I know he's going <laughs> to slam those down in his face. <laughs> OFC has got to be in the blender. $3,700 3500 I love this spot. I love this play here by <laughs> Phil. And OFC is very is very perplexed. Man. And it's I will say if if anyone can sniff something like this out, it is OFC. It is. Yeah, but this is a this is a tough spot. This is really tough. He's got one pair. And 3,585 to make the call. And he know, he doesn't know it, but he has RV Phil bamboozled. Yeah, and, and OFC bet so big on the turn that he's like thinking, did did RV really call the turn with a, a draw? Or, I mean, he'd be surprised he called with the cut shot for that price. <laughs> right. Um, and, and but RV Phil clearly had, clearly had plans. He clearly did have Ill plans. Intentions. He had ill intentions, and he is putting OFC to the test. OFC, deep into the blender right now. Deep, deep, deep. This is the action that we want to see here in Dallas. It looks like he might lay it down. I think he might, but man. I mean, if you want to think about this from a technical perspective, OFC's got the jack of spades in his hand, which is in theory a bad card, right? Because he blocks some of the draws that would have... <laughs> and the ace of spades is on the twice. board. Ace of spades is on the board. So a hand like king jack of spades, jack ten of spades, you... RV Phil, he knows RV Phil doesn't have a hand like that. Yeah, right? those hands are gone. Yeah. The uh, the 10 jack of spades isn't there yet. So the, no. the the only hand that could be there, king 10 of spades. Is sure, probably. sure, absolutely. Uh, there are hands, don't get me wrong, but tough. there's less of them. There is know? a lot less of them. And he the lays it oh, down, lays it down. RV and RV Phil. Phil, does he show it? Is he going to show it? Does he show it? Is he going to show it? RV Phil, do it, do it for the chat. Did he show it? Does he show it? I want to know or, so bad. Is he just going to be cold-blooded and just... I don't think he showed. He didn't show it. He yeah. didn't show. He didn't show. Wow. I love it. RV Phil. Wow. RV Phil came to play. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> what is... Man, and we are on what? Look what hand are we on right now? 12? He definitely didn't show it. Yeah, hand number 12. We came out here to play on Poker House Dallas live here uh, on the 510 and a quarter game. Very impressive play there by RV. It, it is impressive. We got Mark Wee in the chat. What's Mark, up, Mark Wee in the chat. What's going on, Mark? I played with Mark Wee yesterday. That man tortured me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just... 
Yo. You... Wow, guys, give us a thumbs up and give us a thumbs up in the chat if you enjoy that at that hand. I know, hand. right? And we're gonna have an explosive stream today. I think there's gonna be a lot more hands going on like this. We're on hand 13. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe here at the Poker House Dallas live stream. Again, RV Phil came to play. This is what you guys want to see. RV Phil, straight gangster. <laughs> straight gangster. Love it. <laughs> Let's get back to the action here. It's OFC. tough to bluff OFC, too. It's not it an is. easy thing to do. I've tried it before. <laughs> How did it work out for you? <laughs> Let me tell you what. He re-raised all in. <laughs> he made it 5,000 down my throat. I said, I didn't know what to do. Oh, yeah. I had, I had one pair. He had one pair. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I think I remember that hand. I he was had like bluffing. metal pair or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you what, he's a tough man. He is very tough. And AJ here, king three of diamonds, flopping bottom pair. OFC with the six deuce of clubs, and Frankie with a really nice draw here. King eight of hearts. <coughs> and AJ wants to uh, wants to be safe. He's coming in with a raise here at the bottom pair, backdoor flush draw. AJ said, "Check raise and Mr. Frankie." And Frankie, what's he gonna do if his Pretty big hand here. Yeah, I expect to see Frankie. I expect to see Frankie at least call. With his stack, he probably could consider coming over the top for a jam. He could. Yeah. He could. But and it looks like just a call. Yeah, the way Frankie plays, I'm not surprised to see him just call there. Right. How about and a king of spades? And beautiful card there for Frankie. There's turning, the nuts for Frankie. Turning the nuts. And... Um, this, this card has to be concerning for AJ. I think Frankie betting the flop in the multiple players and calling a check raise on the flop is pretty strong. Yep, and that is a really bad card now for AJ's hand. But he's going to fire. He and it, is. It would put Frankie in a really tough spot if he just had a 10. You but know, Frankie has there. an easy yeah, hand now. He's got the nuts. <laughs> he's got the nuts. And I think we'll probably see Frankie just call here. I think Frankie's just going to call the 550. Yeah. Call and hope for the uh, river shove. Yeah. And it looks like that's what he's going to do. Like it. I like it. <laughs> We're having an action stream tonight, that's for sure. AJ in here mixing up the King 3. Oh, man. Now, this card is interesting because AJ has a king in his hand. And now it's less likely that Frankie has the king of hearts in his hand since AJ has a king. So it's less likely if Frankie has a king. So does AJ represent the nut flush here? Yeah, he definitely could. And he very wisely checked. Yeah, he waves the white flag. So if you're Frankie here, you might want to go for like a small size because it's kind of hard for you to get paid off by too much. Yeah, right? Frankie less than top, uh, less than a uh, yeah, I mean, hot size bet. Yeah. I mean, unless you think he's got the queen or jack of hearts in his hand specifically. That's what and I think he's shoving. Yeah, he's shoving. Yeah. He's hoping that AJ's got a big heart. And he AJ's, is. AJ's got an easy decision. going to put him in a bad But spot. I love the heart there by AJ. Oh, me too. Just 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 Frankie had Frankie had the real hearts. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. You can't you nice. can't beat the real hearts. A nice hand for Frankie. Off to a good start here. <laughs> Love this table talk. We got 99 viewers in the chat. Let's go. Anybody new in the chat tonight? We still have the knit game going. And Moneymaker. Two tens. Yeah, picking up a big hand here. Raising it to 150. Bryce Williams in the chat. Let's go, Sam Clark Poker, baby. My guy, he says. Sam Clark's a nice guy. Played with him a couple times. Very nice gentleman. OFC. Looks like he three bets with the king, queen of spades, a.k.a. a mama and a papa is what I like to call it. 425 versus Moneymaker. And I don't think Moneymaker's going anywhere. Mm -mm. Making the call. Small three bet there by OFC. 
And OFC flopping top two. He drills that. And comes right out firing. All right, good pull there by Moneymaker. Nice hand OFC. Mark, we, I, do you know the guy that made those knit buttons? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Mark Wee. He had a made special for um, for some of these big games and for his game, his 1-3 game that he runs on Wednesdays here. He told me I could have an invite only because I'm a big fish. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's a fun, fun, group of, fun group of people. They all crush me in the knit game. I would probably get beaten that. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. They're, they're not nits, I'll tell you. <laughs> it was a fun, fun time. We had the the one ninety two straddle on. Wow, three times. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yep. Money maker with the two snowmen. <laughs> RV Phil gonna fold. Yeah, RV taking a break after that. Uh, that big <laughs> RV taking a feet. break. He needs a breather yeah, after he needs that. A breather. <laughs> <laughs> he bluffed. He bluffed OFC of all people. He, I need to take a break as well. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks, Mark. I had a lot of fun playing with you as well. We had a lot of good table talk. I really enjoyed your company yesterday. I like to just have fun when I'm playing, no matter the game, no matter the stake. I want to have fun. I want to. Keep up some good energy at the table. Moneymaker taking it down. Two eights. Yeah, Danny saying he has a newfound respect for people that commentate and I say I have to agree. Man, commentating is not the easiest thing out there to do. We got 102 viewers in the chat. I feel Shout like, out to the viewers. I feel like that's a that's a pretty good high for me. I haven't seen that that's, many viewers. That's very strong on a Friday. Friday yeah. yeah. Thank you guys Shout for being out. with us. Thank Spend you guys Friday so much. night with us. Hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. And if you want to come down here and you want to play on any of the streams, you got one three, one two streams, five ten, ten a quarter, whatever game you want to play in, get in contact with. Eddie Bat, uh, I'm pretty sure that he has a uh, form on on the website to get into the streams. I believe so. Yeah. And looks like Moneymaker here with the eight five of clubs swapping top pair. Carlos going to take a shot with King High. Dollar fifty. Moneymaker going to check call. Ace of clubs. It's a good turn for Moneymaker. He's got, yeah. the, got the gutter in the club draw. Yeah, very good turn there. for him. We'll see if Carlos wants to represent this ace being the pre-flop raiser. He raised under the gun. And Carlos does. And, uh, he's going to have to bet the river if he's going to want to win this pot because Moneymaker is definitely going to be calling with this hand. Unless a club comes off on the river. Yes. Or an eight. Yes. Or a four. <laughs> or four. Or five. Or five. <laughs> a lot of hands. A lot of cards. Oh, and he just rivers the best and hand. Carlos rivering the best hand. Doesn't even need to bluff now. Is that how you do it? You just bet, bet, best hand. You bet with the worst hand twice, and you check when you got the best hand. I'm going to start doing pot. I'm going to start doing Yeah. It. Yeah. Good play. <laughs> nice hand, Carlos. Just bet, bet, bet till you get the best hand. And then you track. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos is safe. Carlos is so safe. So who do we got here left? I'm we happy got, Carlos is safe. Yeah, me too. We got uh, <laughs> Kitty, Danny, and Sam Clark, and AJ. So we got four left. All right. I'm thinking Kitty's next. <laughs> you're really you're really going for Kitty, huh? I, You know, right, she, she plays right. aggressive. Yeah, she is aggressive. She's so that's, aggressive. that's why I'm rooting for her on this one. I'm going to take Danny. All yeah. right, I can see that Co commentator. Too. <laughs> yep. Hundred and three viewers in the chat. Strong for the Friday night. I love it. 
Frankie here at the 10-4 hearts. Gonna fold. Sam Clark, track deuce. OFC on the button. He's got a hand he's gonna raise it with. 200. Carlos. He's probably, he might defend here, and he does. Yeah. Carlos likes to defend his big blind. <laughs> Isaac says, calling it now. Sam's going to be the knit. And we go to the flop. 10-9 tray, rainbow. Good flop for OFC here. He's got two overs and gut shot. And he's going to bet at it. Carlos, I assume, would give up here. Nice hand. And he does. Let's take a look at the stack sizes today. And we got AJ here, 6,100. RV Phil, 6,000. Carlos, 5,300. It'll pop back up. And Sam Clark Poker, 4,820. Kitty, 4,770. OFC, 4,700. Frankie, 4,690. Danny, 46 and a quarter. Moneymaker, 4,490. Everybody kind of has around the same stack size, except for RV and AJ. Yeah, give or take 1,500. Yeah. Harvey Phil, the A6 clubs, he's not going anywhere. He's going to raise it up. Huge raise here from RV. How much is it? I can't see it. Oh, Coming wow. For three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's not playing around. No, he's not. He says, you know what? You want to play this pot? We're going to play for three and a quarter. That's going to That's gonna win it. That's going to do it. And there was no straddle on? No straddle, yeah. Just wow. three and a quarter. We're just three and a quarter. Three and a queue. Wow. Big deal. <laughs> it is. <a laughs> triple cheeseburger with cheese there. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Big open. I like it. Take a look at the uh, wins here. All right, Frankie up 1690, RV up 1200, OFC up four and a quarter, Carlos 295. Nobody's up or down a ton of money right now in this game. Sam going down 180, Moneymaker down 520, Kitty down 730, AJ minus 855, Danny minus 1380, but he can turn it around. Had that bad run with aces there. Yeah, he did. Okay, OFC with the A7 of diamonds, raising it to $175. Harvey Phil, the 8-4. Kind of think Harvey Phil's not going to fold. <laughs> he said, who's in the pot, OFC? <laughs> I can Watch play this. against this guy. Yeah, I can bluff him all in. Queen Jack 5-1 diamond. And there we go. Now OC picks up the best hand with the pair. He had the best hand already, but now picks up a pair. Yep, RV turning a like, gut shot straight draw. Mm -hmm. So check, check. Doesn't get there. Looks like check, gonna, check. They're just going to check it down here. Yeah, that's going to be the end of that hand. <laughs> OFC, the net, Chris Moneymaker, same thing. <laughs> Talking about where the term net originated from. <laughs> where did it originate from, do you know? I'm not sure. I'm not either. <laughs> now I want to look that up. Google it. Like OFC with the 8-9 of hearts. Raised 175. <laughs> and Harvey Phil's got Jack Deuce. And he's not going anywhere. Because he's calling. 
so I can play a pot. AJ in here. The old nine deuce. That's a good blackjack hand. Or I like to call it Montana banana. Nine eight trip. Yeah, and bad <laughs> flop here for AJ. OFC popping top two. It's another great flop. OFC is the best at flopping hands. He, he does seem to flop a lot of hands. <laughs> he does. And AJ. Top pair and backdoor spade draw. A deuce would be a bad card for him. Six of diamonds. Yeah, surprised the AJ is going to lead out here. And we'll see if OFC can come in for a raise. But he's just going to make the call. Okay. See what happens on the river. Rough Seven river. Diamonds. Yeah, that's a bad river for both <laughs> players. Very bad. Probably see it go check, check here. And it goes check. OFC. So he's going to be happy to win this pot on that run out. Checks. Knit Poker Origin. Let's see. Does that have a picture of you beside it? Thankfully not. <laughs> <laughs> the origin of the word most likely comes from the word nitpick, although this is yet to be confirmed. Huh. Just defines what a knit is, but it doesn't really say where it came from. Right. Well. When you started playing poker, would you say you were on the tighter side or the looser side? Loose. Loose, yeah. Yeah, I you think just, I've always kind of been more... You just want to get in there. More of the looser yeah. sides. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that I play that tight now. Yeah. I mean, no, if you, you, if you, you watch you the streams... Yeah, you definitely mix it up. You were getting in there last time. You made some some nice uh, nice moves. And some of them worked out. Some of them didn't. <laughs> yeah, but it, it worked out at the end. Well, if you're going to play that way, you got to continuously play that way. Yeah. You can't just stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. The seven, yeah, the 7 6 hand where we hit the two pair, that was a nice one. Yeah, that was a nice turn for me. That was a very uh, nice turn. Very, very lucky turn. <laughs> yeah. But I, I kind of look at it this way if you're going to continue to play that way, you can't just quit playing that way. You got to con continuously play that way. You got to fade the variance somehow. Right. Um, I like to mix it up. I like to have fun. No matter the stake, I'm in there. Love it. Love it. And looks like yeah. Sam Clark. Sam Clark trying to be safe, but uh, Harvey Phil's not going to let him off the hook this easy. Harvey <laughs> Phil says, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not getting off the hook here, bud. I got 10 8. Yeah, Sam Clark making an aggressive raise here from the big blind with the King 9. Very aggressive. And he's uh, gets a, gets a good, hits top pair. Monotone board, though. Yeah, lucky for him, RV doesn't have a club. RV's got a gut shot, and RV's capable of doing a lot of things. With the gut shot, yeah. Give this man a gut shot and see what he can do. That's right. Tough continue for RV here. He doesn't have a club, but he is, here he comes. He is sticking around. <laughs> it, it might come a club on the turn. RV just might just raise. And RV picking up an open ender. Yeah, good equity card there for RV. And goes check from RV. And Sam. Sam. Quite the bet here. It looks around it is. 700. So it looks like he's going for some thin value here. And he did get RV Phil to fold a good amount of equity. So nice bet there from Sam. Give that man his net button. He is safe. So we're down to Kitty, Danny, and uh, AJ. Kitty, Danny, and AJ. I know you said Danny. I said Kitty. We're getting down to the wire. Yeah. Right. I think Kitty's going to be the knit. I think she's going to be the knit. Who do you who do you say out of the three? <laughs> you know what? I'm changing my mind. I think I think that Kitty might be the knit, and Danny. I think Danny's going to win next. He's going to win the next one. Yeah, I, I've been shifting gears after that couple, last couple hands. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Kitty's folding. Looks like Danny Kitty and Danny are folding. Yeah. Well, not going to be this hand. 
Carlos. Carlos waking up with the aces. Couple of aces. Very, very nice. Can he get some action? Sam Clark with the queen 10. Probably going to get a little action here. No. I think OFC is going to defend the suited, <laughs> suited 10. Well, I tell you what, I haven't seen many hands OFC won't defend on the blind or the straddle. I think this is Carlos' opportunity to uh, potentially get some revenge on OFC. They got and quite a history. Oh, my gosh. Carlos just flopping the stone nuts with aces. So, but Carlos, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, we need checks back. I really like the check back there from Carlos. Oh, he's got the board locked up, and yeah. OFC just doesn't have anything to Got to give him OFC with. some rope. And, yeah, unfortunately yeah. for Carlos. You know what I call that? A waste of aces. Yeah, and OFC's just laughing at him. Carlos, <laughs> Carlos had, I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carlos is so angry. <laughs> I don't blame him. I'd Come be on. angry, too. It's funny how in poker you can win a pot and be angry. <laughs> right? <laughs> Man. But. <laughs> That's true. That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You, sh you shouldn't. You shouldn't have bailed him out, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos is, might be regretting showing OFC some mercy. <laughs> Show me any mercy at the poker table. <laughs> RV Phil going to fold the 9-5 of diamonds. Probably the same fold suited hand there. He's really picking his spots I tonight. thought maybe he'd come in for a little raise. Yeah. He's picking his spots. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough for Katie to win this spot with the deuce three. I think so. And OFC looks like he's raising it up. 300. Nice time from OC. So we still got AJ Kitty and Danny left. I'm going to pull up the V-Pip, and I'm going to give OC. you a real shocker here. OC's at the top of the board. Yeah, almost double second place. 63%. Yeah. RV Phil with 36. And everyone else close to the same range when you start getting to Carlos and Frankie. Kitty at 9, Sam Clark at 9. They've been kind of card dead. They've been pretty card dead from what I've seen. Moneymaker, two fives. RV Phil's going to get in the mix now. I, I, I feel it on this one. He's got the A7 of clubs. I like three bet here from RV. Yes. Punish the German. Good hand of three bet wit. He's in position. The man's on a, on a heater. He said he's going to continue that heater tonight. I think we're going to see Moneymaker call here. Hoping to hit a five. Absolutely. But if he doesn't, he's going to have a tough time continuing. RB Bell. Big flop for RV. Huge flop for him. <laughs> right. Picks up the nut flush draw there. I would have loved to see him bet there, but it looks like he did check back. And it turns a deuce. I don't know. I think we're going to see Moneymaker check here. And RV checks back. Very surprising. And he just gets there. Just binks it. No problem. Zero problem. And now he's betting, and I think this is going to do it. That's 300. And it looks like 300 and take it. I 
All I know is whatever you say, it's not true. That's all I know. It's never true. Alright, nothing really going on here. Sam Clark on the button. Oh, seeing the small blind. 7-6, gonna lay it down. Kitty in the big blind, king five. And she folds, and Danny gets a walk with the ace, queen of diamonds. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Moneymaker's still in the hand. Forgot that he straddled. Danny raising 175. There we go. And Moneymaker called king seven off. 10, Jack, 6, Rainbow. Danny still with the best of it. It's going to see if that 275 moneymaker just giving up. Danny doesn't have to stay in the knit game now. Phil. Let's see what he has. RV Phil, 9 8 off, raising it up, 2 and a quarter. AJ with ace jack in the hijack. Probably gonna raise it, and he does. 7.50 to go. And AJ still in the knit game. RV Phil. Folds. AJ's gonna win. Anything exciting? Uh, yeah, so Danny's not in the knit game, and uh, Kitty's the one who had to pay. Oh, I was right. Yes. <laughs> We're yeah. both right. <laughs> we, we, we voted for Danny, and that's what happened. All right. So about a little over an hour into the stream here. Got 86 viewers in the chat. Thank you, everyone, for coming out here supporting the stream at Poker House Dallas here in... At Poker House Dallas. Jeez, I can't House, talk suddenly. Poker House Dallas here <laughs> in Dallas, House, Texas. You're right. <laughs> Regal Road. <laughs> Poker House Live in Dallas, Texas. Come on down and check us out if you haven't already. If you want in the mood to play some poker tonight, they're open 24-7. And they have games pretty much going all the time. Yeah. I a love being here. From, yeah, a lot to choose from tonight. A lot of 1-2 games. If you like uh, PLO Bomb Pots, they have those. And they also have a 1-2 or two five round of each game going right now. It looks like a good game out there. Oh, two five ROE going yeah. on. Yeah, nice. It's like a fun game. Yeah, a little bit of Omaha, a little bit of Hold'em. Yeah, I love that mix. It's a lot of fun. I played a two five game last week with two five no limit, one hand of PLO four card every orbit, 
that's fun. Yeah, it yeah. was fun. It I was like a lot of I fun. I like to change it up, you know, every once in a while, every few hands. Yeah. yeah. And I it's like a good it. way to introduce Holden players at PLO, I think. It is. Jim Boyd in the chat, fellow West Virginian and longtime professional poker player. Hope all is well, Jim. Looks like we're going to go for another flip. And who's got a AJ? Like AJ's got a bow here. <laughs> He's got the old West Virginia big slick. Nine he won seven. the first flip too. He did. He's two for two on flips. Right. He is two for two. Every time I play a OC in the flips, we always uh, throw each other a hundred if the other one wins or the fifty, whatever it is. I like that. A little extra gamble. Yeah, a little extra gamble. He likes to do a little extra gamble. <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Sounds like they're starting to nick him again. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well, that's how she played it. Last. That's how she played it last time. Literally, like, on and on. Yeah, well, yeah. Six four. All right. Sam Clark. Okay. He's going to open up with the Queen 10 and the hijack. If OFC was here, I would assume he would call. Yeah. He would do something. He would do something. <laughs> you never know exactly what it is. Don't would, know what it is, but it would be something. It would be a three bet or a call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be. <laughs> Carlos, he's in there at 9 7. And you would have flopped your bases. <laughs> would I think of. if Sam Clark bet series, probably going to take this one down. He should. Yeah. That's for a small bet. Dry board, and he's going to win it. Small little pot. Looks like the hundred's on now. Wow, we got the fifty and the hundred on. Yeah, AJ's putting the hundred on. I like it. Now we're playing looks, some. Poker. Yeah, it looks like they're doing the nick game again. So Sam Clark is the first one that's safe. He's got the ace two suited under the gun. He's gonna go ahead and and he's he's, he's putting like, in, putting in a raise. He yeah he's gonna he's gonna open the suited ace. Raise the two hundred. Moneymaker. Frankie, back to Frankie. Frankie's Two eights, he's not going anywhere. Yeah. And I definitely expect RV <laughs> Phil to at least call. And he's going to three bet. RV Phil, there we go. RV with the aggression. Love it. RV Phil came to play. Yes, he did. And AJ. Thinking about doing something, he doesn't. Sam Clark here. Yeah. What's he going to do with the ace deuce of hearts? I think he might call it. The three bet's on a little bit of a smaller side, so he's going to see a flop here. I think that's going to bring Frankie along as well. The two eights. And uh, I love RV Phil's aggression in general in the spot. He's definitely putting pedal to the metal here. And if he continuation bets this flop, I think he's going to take it down a good amount of the time. It might, but he might get a little resistance from Frankie. Yeah, but it, it's not a it's not a great spot for Frankie because RV Phil's you know three bet an under the gun raiser, and he's betting this board. He's representing, representing a lot of strength. A lot of strength. Yes. And he's probably going to bet pretty big. And he shoves all oh, in. Wow. <laughs> RV, let's go, baby. Well, I, I got an assumption down the here. Hammer. I think that he's going to win and this. And he hand. is sure going to win this hand. Frankie's going to lay this one down. 
And wow, Frankie's a little suspicious here. He's not a believer. He's a little suspicious. His spidey senses. Oh, he's like thinking yeah. about making a call here. His spidey senses are tingling. Yeah, they are tingling for sure. RV Phil. And he's just like, man, this is what the people want to see. And RV says, I let you choose. Phil. Harvey Phil, this man came to play tonight. He is laying down. He's playing power poker. Harvey Phil is showing you how to play here in Texas. You want to come down and play if RV Phil, you come on down here to Dallas. If you're out of town, get on the old silver bird and fly on in here. Yeah, this is a cool play. I mean, he's got some backdoor equity going on here. He's got three to straight flush. He's got the overcard. Yeah. He's, you know, he's blocking the hands like the king queen, the queen jacks. Overbetting the pot all in on the fly. Yeah. And Frankie deep into the blender just doesn't believe him. Yeah. RV Phil, look, giving him the stare. Yeah, RV Phil is just staring him down. Staring him down big time. If Frankie makes this call. Man, and it looks like he's going to fold. Yeah, and RV, RV Phil. Phil is like, does RV show it? He's going to show it because it's the Does Nick he game. show it? Oh, it's my Nick gosh. Game. Tell me RV Phil didn't come here to play tonight. RV, nice hand. Tell you what, RV he is a scary man. He's a scary man for he sure. He is a scary man. <laughs> Jacob Linton, Gator, please respond if you see this. Yes, I see it. What is going on? When are you going to fly back down here to Texas and play on the stream? Did he, he played on the stream with you the first time? The first time, yeah. Nice. Yeah, he uh, he got Cashman to lay down aces. I remember that. I, I remember that as well. I was I was shocked. There was a lot of shocking stuff that went on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cashman, obviously, I didn't play with that guy before. <laughs> <coughs> he, he had some moves, that's for sure. He had a lot of moves. I think we're gonna see money maker. I see Carlos coming with the call here. Yeah, for sure. I like it. And Frankie got bluffed off the last hand, but he's picking up the aces here. He's got the aces. In a dream spot. And what is he gonna do here? Probably put in a little three bet. Yep. Six hundred, seven hundred? Looks like it might be eight hundred. It looks like eight, four and four. Big yeah. three bet here. Most likely going to take this down right now. Unless Carlos wants to go to a flop. Yeah, I think Yeah, I think Carlos, he likes to see flops with hands like these, and I don't blame him. They've got a lot of potential. This is one we of are, the best hands to beat aces. We are playing the Nick game. So everyone wants to be safe. They want to get that button. Carlos talking to him, trying to get some information Looks and like Carlos is going to make the call and he's making the call he is making the call all right now we're going to see a flop but can Carlos pull an RV fail that's what I want to know nine deuce Trey Frankie big flop huge beautiful flop Frankie wow um, unfortunately for him though Carlos doesn't have anything he can really continue with yeah, not at all. Frankie just has it all locked up here at the nuts bay draw. Think about him, Frankie, here. I either want to make a pretty tiny bet or I want to potentially check back because <clears throat> your hand is just so strong, right? Very strong. But I like the small bet. Comes in with a little less than quarter pot. What is that, 22% pot? <laughs> Let me see here. He bet 418 and a quarter. And look at this. Oh, and Carlos. Carlos might be trying to pull an bait. RV fill, and he does. Yeah, Carlos raising the small wow. bet here, and Frankie has to be loving the situation. Just um, raised to 800. Yeah, and I think I like to see Frankie just call here, try and keep Carlos's bluffs in. Carlos did happen to flop the flush. He, he's not folding, anyways, obviously, so I think he wants to just. Um, keep the bluffs in here. Do you think Carlos pulls the RV fill in a turn and shoves? Well, I don't think so. I think what he's going to be a little. S I think he. I think he's smart enough to pump the brakes here when. Uh, when Frankie. He does check. Yeah, Frankie calls the check raise. He's shown a lot of strength. Or did pair. And I'd like to see Frankie check back here. 
I think it's a good spot to check back. Carlos is bluffing. Give yeah. him an opportunity to hang himself. Um, but it looks like he wants to bet. If he is going to bet, I like a small bet again. I agree. He's got about two. He's got like a 70% stack to pot ratio. And Frankie, right. another small bet. Yeah, he makes another small bet. Teasing Carlos. Carlos going to fold it. Frankie shows and he gets the knit. He's safe. He gets the knit button. Nice you have hand, to show the knit game? You have to show you do have to be to safe. Yes, that is one of the rules. <coughs> Which is fun. That's a fun dynamic. <laughs> Very interesting when you're bluffing. <laughs> it's interesting when you're bluffing and it's it's funny when you have it too. Yeah, absolutely. Mark Wee says he's playing at the Lodge right now. Yeah, I remember he told me that yesterday. Nice. Yeah, he's he went to Austin today to... Um, with his wife, I believe. Okay. So, uh, well, good luck, Mark. Yeah, good luck. Hope you're enjoying yourself over there. Well, Hope you're running well. Thanks for watching well. the stream today, Mark. Show him how we do it in Dallas, Mark. Yeah, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Take it down for Dallas, Mark. <laughs> bring some, bring some Austin money back to Dallas. <laughs> That's right. Bring some Austin dollars d down here to Dallas. Yeah, there's a oh, legend. Habib in the chat. There's a legend. What's up? What's up, Habib? Good to have you. Habib, Hayden and Gator nice here to see in you. the chat. Habib, let us know when your restaurant's opening back up. We're going to be there. I can't wait to go and eat, yes. I'm going to be there for opening day. Me too. Reopening day, I'll and call it. Frankie here with yeah. the ace king of diamonds. Picking up another big hand. And Sam Clark raced it to 100. Frankie, three bet in the 450. Yeah, and AJ. AJ he's been wanting about to get in the something. mix, and he is. He's in the mix, but diamonds is going to have him crushed. Yeah, and I think this is going to bring Sam Clark in as well. He's got a nice... He's got very nice hands. Sam Clark's in there. Habib says he's doing good. I'm glad to hear it. Nice to hear from you, Habib. Hope to see you soon. One more month. All right. Jack we'll be five there. seven. Nobody hits the board here. Let's see what Frankie's going to do first to act. Yeah, kind of a tough flop for him. Um, it does connect with some cold calling ranges. He doesn't have any backdoor diamonds on this board. It does check. I think if, if AJ or Sam want to bet here, I think they have an opportunity to take down this pot. And he does check, and Sam might see an opportunity here. Yeah, Sam's got an opportunity. And he checks. They're going to check through. King on the turn. Deuce of clubs. Sam, Sam picking up a flush draw here. Picking up a flush draw, and he's got an over to the board. All of his, um, his 10 is good, and his clubs are good. Can't hit the king. Frankie going to bet out here. It's going to be bad news for Frankie, because I don't think Sam's going anywhere. And when it checks through, he's thinking he's, his ace-king high is likely good, but Sam is definitely going to continue here. So if Sam, Sam, yeah, he's just going to call. He's getting the right price to, to draw to his flush. Um, if he did come up, come in with the raise there, he put Frank in a really tough spot. Oh, and That's a bad card for Sam. That's a bad, bad card for Sam. All right. Let's see if Frankie's going to value bet the ace-king. Any checks? Very interesting. Sam, do you think Sam puts in a bet? Missed his flush, but hits his king. I have a hard time seeing. It's a it's a tricky spot. I, he could definitely there's some hands he could definitely get value from. So I would not fault him for for doing so. I mean, I, I'm thinking like a hand like pocket tens, pocket nines, pocket queens, maybe a hand like ace jack or some hands that you could potentially get value from. And, and looks like comes. he's going for it. Yep, and he's gonna run right into a brick wall. Yeah, and I like the check too by Frankie. On the end. That was a snap call. Yeah, easy call there for Frankie. Such a small bet. Very nice hand, Frankie. Frankie hoping to pick off some missed draws, trying to bluff there on the river. Mm hmm. So, uh, nice hand, Frankie. Yeah, I like Frankie's check there. Yeah, Well, it's hard to bluff in that hand. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's got a much stronger hand. You're not wrong. <laughs> yep. And it's a much smaller bat. I don't mind. I, I don't mind the way Sam played that hand. No. I think 
he had a hard time putting Frankie on Ace King the way the hand played. Kitty um, hasn't gotten nine eight of spades. Yeah, she doesn't want to be the net anymore. She's yeah, she's getting in the mix. She's getting right nice, in the mix under the gun. Nice suit connector here. Reason it's a dollar fifty. RV Phil. It's gonna fold. Sam Clark, the old king four. Oh, FC, 10 7 of clubs, probably going to protect. <laughs> I could 100% tell you he's not folding that. <laughs> That's one raise. And I wouldn't either. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Great flop for Kitty. King Bottom eight, queen, pair, two spades. Flush yeah. draw. She flops pretty massive. Oh, she's just probably going to get out the way here. Beautiful, beautiful flop for her. And she's going to show it. She's going to. Uh, Reese Reynolds wants to hear more player conversations, so let's turn up the table mic. All right, yeah, guys. let's turn it up. hand. AJ with the 5-4 and the small blind. Okay, Sam. The ace-queen. OFC, he's not going anywhere. I like this game. It's fun. <laughs> OFC, there we go. Coming in for the three-bet here. I love the aggressive three-bet. Yeah, if he didn't three-bet, we're going to call him OMC. No, never OC. <laughs> I call it OMC Old Man Crusher. Old Man Crusher? Yes. <laughs> and Sam Clark just rips it. Wow. Sam Clark came to play as well. <clears throat> Sam Clark just ripping it. 3K said, here you go. You can put our faces on too if you like. But I guess Sam has to rip it here. The, he only has uh, he has less than 100 blinds. Yeah, he's got, with the straddle on, he's got about 60 blinds. So Yeah. Oops, he's an aggressive player. I like this is good, uh, good four-bed shot, man. So. Nice, nicely down there for Sam Clark. He's safe from the net. Yep. Nice four-bed shot. So instead of what they do, normally do is they have a hot press machine, they press it down, yeah. so they make a transfer into yeah. a shirt. Um, what they'll do is they'll hand stitch naturally. Like, uh, in the back. I rolled a hundred last night. You rolled a hundred? Yeah, I ten x my uh, my point roll. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it was exciting. That is exciting. AJ with the queen eight gonna fold. Sam Clark eight deuce. Nobody picking up anything this. Oh, let's see. Okay, he's four spades. Okay, yeah, great hand here. Mick comes in for a big raise. He it looks like OFC does not want. He's he's going for that. Uh, he wants to be safe from the Nick game. <coughs> and it looks like Danny's Danny. gonna defend here. Gonna defend with the ten four. It's in position. It's a big raise. Danny gonna try to outplay Mr. OFC. Tough thing. Tough thing to do. <laughs> OC flopping a four. Danny flopping a four. Probably see Danny. He's going to go for a bet. <coughs> Just some protection and value, but OC is definitely it's not, not going, going anywhere. He's yeah. not going anywhere. There's no way. Arena wants me to explain the Nick game. So I believe it's it the it's uh, fifty dollars per person, and it's the um, the last person to win a pot that round. So whenever they start it, 
Um, if you win a pot, you get the nip button, and that means you're safe. So the last person without a nip button that hasn't won a pot has to pay the entire table $50. It's <laughs> essentially the stand-up game, uh, if you've ever heard of that, but they're they're using the button instead of actually standing up. And Danny making the best of it on the river. Yeah. And he's going to bet 1500 Yeah, he's going for a pot size bet here. Looking for max value. O of C of just a four. The knit game is the stand up game, yes. Exactly, yeah. No, OFC just not wanting to let go of this four. Yeah, a tough spot here for him. And he makes the call. He does make the hero call. And Danny get Danny. max value there. With the tens and fours. Danny back in the black, I believe. Great river. And Danny kind of OFC to OFC there. I think he did. Let's check on Danny. Danny is back in the black, up 975. Frankie, big winner for the night so far. $5,000. Crushing the game so far. RV Phil up 1890. No surprise. Just getting started, RV. <laughs> Just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> Making some sick plays tonight. Two sick all in bluffs. One right. versus LFC, one versus uh, Frankie and Mr. Sam Clark. RV Phil came to play. Man came to play. That man, he's a beast. That man came to play for sure. I'd love to see him on more streams here in the near future. <laughs> Me too. RV he's put Phil. On a show, man. Man, he is, he is the man that will put you in the poker hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of RV Phil, here he comes. 150 with 9 8 off. Start. He's he's tired of folding. He said, and "You know OFC what? OFC looks like he wants to get in there." OFC said, "I'm I'm not going to fold this." Yeah, <laughs> he does not want to be the net. We're going to have the clash of the titans in this hand again. The OFC and RV Phil. Daniel, moneymaker at the Ace Ten. Yeah, it comes in for the call here. He likes it for an extra dollar. Three ways to the flop. Ace Queen Deuce Moneymaker flop in the best of it. RV Phil with just nine high. Great flop here for Moneymaker. I suspect Moneymaker's gonna check and RV Phil's gonna bet, and that does happen. Yeah. Moneymaker. I was I guess a check call. Yeah, I expect him to check call here. Right. Continue to let our RV Phil bluff um, with his air. Doesn't want to blow this pot too much. Great turn for him. Mm -hmm. RV's going to go for Jack. Just needs a Jack. The only way he can win. Moneymaker going to bet. Going for a big size. He's going to show the aces and tens. And uh, Moneymaker's safe. Moneymaker is safe. No longer a net. Is RV Phil safe? RV Phil is safe. OFC? OFC is not safe. OFC is not safe. So things are going to get interesting. Things are going to get interesting. Safe. He will. Uh, it looks like it's down to OFC and uh, AJ. I don't know. if I, I'm not sure if Carlos has it one as well. Looks like Carlos does not. Yeah, I think have Carlos does. So it's down to three. Down to three, yep. <laughs> All right. Who do we think next? I gotta go for OFC. He's a favorite. <laughs> right. and he's got the button. This hand, so yeah, this man's it. not gonna fold his button. <laughs> right. <laughs> RV filled the Jack Six. He's gonna go for it. <laughs> OFC coming in for a big size here. With the old nine six yeah. two fifty. Five X rays on the button. Just wants to take it down and uh Carlos. Yeah, Carlos is gonna defend here. He's not gonna let him just take it away. No, and they both want that button. Yep. Carlos, no slouch at the game. Jack Queen Queen. I think this is gonna be OFC's pot if he uh continuation bets here. Very much could be. 
That's 200. 200. And he's going he's to do gonna it. That's going to be the end of that. He's got to show it. He shows it. Carlos doesn't even want to see. He turns around and drink his wine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. He's like, okay. <laughs> I do not blame him. <laughs> so we're down to uh, Carlos and AJ. Wow. I'm thinking Carlos. Carlos is going to be the net, or he's going to he's going to be safe. I think Carlos is going to be safe. Carlos is going to try to take this down. I'm taking AJ. All right. You want to bet some uh, rolls? Heads up for rolls? Yeah, heads up for rolls. <laughs> I'll bet you a dozen rolls. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> dozen rolls on you tonight. <laughs> All right. This this might kick up the action oh, a little bit. Frankie in there at the King Jack of Hearts. Frankie, yeah. He's going to come in with a raise, and RV is not folding <laughs> ace queen. RV is not going to fold. He's probably going to raise. No, just going to call. He's going to call. All right. AJ coming in. He does not want to be the last man standing. I don't blame him. That's my guy. I'm pulling for AJ this hand. <laughs> AJ, and, uh, I hate to say this, but I'm trying to win a dozen rolls. Very nice. Kitty here. Kitty beast in hearts. Now we're talking. She comes in for a thousand. Thousand. Whoa, that's that's a big bet there. That is. Over 75. That's like a... It's like a 15x raise. Yeah, she three bet. She came with that big size, and that I spoke about before. I said she does come in for yeah, some big sizes sometimes. Notice that. And is RV gonna lay down his ace queen? He's not one to fold a hand like this. RV, he in likes, a spot. He likes to see the flop. Is RV just gonna go? He might just five bet here. He might lay it down because Kitty has oh, been sorry, pretty tight. Bet. Kitty has been pretty tight so far tonight. Yes. RV fell in a tough spot. Kevin Chan, thanks for subscribing. And RV's making the call. Yes, he is. Now we're doing this is the action you're looking for here at Poker House Dallas. Yeah, heads up. Three bet to a thousand over seventy-five dollars. Where else do you see action like this in a ten quarter game? Heads up twenty two hundred in the middle here. Let's go. And an ace high flop. RV Phil. It's gonna be some fireworks. RV Phil's great run continues here. It really does. Brutal Back door not close Kitty. draw. And a thousand dollars each win in the middle. Pre flop twenty two sixty five in the skillet and Kitty. She's coming in for a small small C bet here. I like this play. Five seventy five. Yeah. RV Phil's not going anywhere. It's just how much is he going to win this I know. I'm interested to see if he check calls or if he's going to put the check raise in here now. So am I. Either way, Kitty's going to be in a tough spot. A tough spot. And the 10 of diamonds on the turn would be a crazy card. That would be a crazy card. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> Let's see what happens. He does make the call. 34-15 in the skillet. Seven of clubs. Great card here for RB. And interested to see um, if Kitty's going to bet here. And she does shove. Does she go all in? Yeah. And RV Phil's got an easy call. I can't fault her for this. I think she's putting Phil on a lot of potential draws. <laughs> and RV Phil. And RV Phil looks like he snap called. Yeah, I, I assume he did. And he's in a beautiful spot here. He is. And they're going to run it twice. We got a $9,925 pot. They're running it twice. First one for RV. In the second and one RV's for RV. RV's going to scoop it. Very nice hand for RV. RV taking Taking down an almost 10K pot there. Calling a 1,000 pre-flop. The ace queen just drilling the flop. Drilling it. Beautiful spot. What Tough. is it like to be RV? I'd love to know. <laughs> <laughs> tough spot for Kitty. Yeah, tough spot for Kitty there. Surprise. Very unfortunate. Let's yes. take a look here. Surprised to see such a big size in there. RV Phil. RV Phil. Back to his crushing wave. 635. We said the man's been on a heater. It's not stopping tonight. It's not stopping. He's keeping it going. We're going to have to change it from RV Phil to Freight Train Phil. He is running it over. He is running him over. The man has been on fire. That man is on fire. I tell you what, he puts the fear into me. I don't want to play with him. I'm scared. <laughs> last time I, last, I'll tell you what, last time I played with him, he got me for, for a few Gs. So he's, uh, <laughs> that was just the start of the tear. <laughs> that is the start of the tear, but we're still on for the rolls bet. Yeah, so we're still on. Let's down to AJ there. and Carlos. AJ and Carlos. <clears throat> RV Phil are gonna send, trying to send Kitty back to Vegas. You know, yeah. <laughs> Very nice hand. Very nice. And 
a brutal spot there for Kitty. It, it I mean, is against brutal. a player like RV, he's going to have a lot of potential draws on that board. And RV just checks it twice on that board. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Kimmy's in the chat. What's up, Kimmy Stone? Hi, Kimmy. I got to root for Carlos. He's a man. He's a dapper man. He's got the Louis Vuitton sweater on. How can I not root for him? Yeah. I always root for him, too. One of my favorite guys to play with. He's, I he's, like sitting beside him because the, the stuff that he says, he always gets me laughing. He's fantastic. He has the best <laughs> one-liners. He does. And Sam Clark here with the king-queen, raising it to 300 OC. <laughs> he's yeah. not going anywhere, Jack Nine of Spades. Yeah, AJ, um, AJ put on the 300, on the 100 here, trying to uh, get in, himself involved in the action. And Moneymaker in there at the A7 of Spades. An RV going to continue pushing his luck here, making the call with the 10-6 of Spades. Listen, if you're RV Phil, AJ's got to be very disappointed to look down at this hand. I know. $100 straddle. If you're RV Phil, what hand do you not play? That's, you play the whole deck. You play the deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're RV Phil, you yeah. play the deck. Uh, thank you very much, Kim. Hey, Kim, thank you so much. Ace, deuce, five, money maker, flopping the best of it. AJ, nine, deuce, just flopping a two. Harvey with the back doors. <laughs> and who's going, and it's going to check around. Danny asking RV when's the last time he lost playing poker. <laughs> the answer's never. He said 2022. <laughs> I, that's true. I don't think he's lost this year. <laughs> I'm a very hot year so far. That's right. And pretty irrelevant turn here. Hey, there's another subscriber. Fubrazy, Young LA. Thank you for the subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in the chat tonight. 109 viewers. Uh, got Hayden Fortini in here with me. Gator, a.k.a. Paul Tassoni. Hayden's from Florida. I think he's also a Gator. <laughs> a Florida Gator. Yeah. I was actually an owl, Florida Atlantic University. Oh, really? Yeah. So okay. Cool. Mark Wee, thanks so much. Thank Mark, you, Mark. I can't wait to play a few again. All right. Money weight maker went in a decent little pot there. Yeah. Spent 500 on the river, no takers. No takers. But taking the pot. <laughs> That's true. Still down to Carlos and AJ. The two nits remaining. Rena, I like the I like your style. Hit the like button. Please Thank hit you, like and subscribe. Helps Thank us you out, so guys. much. Yes. Helps us continue to bring this great action to you. And action has been brought today. When you got RV Phil in the game, there's going to be blood, lots of it. <laughs> Kitty with the ace deuce off, Fulton, Danny, Moneymaker, Carlos. 10 9 off, can he complete the small blind? Harvey Phil. And yeah, he's not falling this hand. Harvey Phil says, nope. Not gonna fold. So AJ might come in for a raise here, trying to uh, take down this pot, but he's gonna check. And he doesn't. Yeah. He's got a suited king, nice hand. See a flop with in the blind. Queen Jack Trey. Carlos flopping a big draw, straight. Yeah. Uh, flush draw and open end straight draw. RV's got top pair. Oh yeah, RV with top pair. <laughs> so Probably I, not gonna go anywhere. I like your side here for Carlos. I think he's got a Got a pretty good chance. Got a pretty good spot. chance, but RV Phil's got top pair, so. Yeah, RV Phil just checking, and Carlos. Okay, Carlos going to lock the board yeah, up. Yeah, he's, he's got the spot locked. He's not losing this one. He, he's not going to lose this one, I don't think so. No, definitely not. Carlos probably going to put a bet in here. And he does. And I think this is going to do it. <laughs> and that looks, looks like I'm going to owe you a dozen rolls, and AJ's like, AJ. And he's not going to want to give it up. AJ, wait a minute. I might owe you a dozen uh, rolls. Huh? <laughs> and he's on the table. And he's like, forget I, it. <laughs> I'm up a dozen rolls. Let's go. And AJ, unfortunately, has to pay the nit game. the table. Uh, 
All right. I'm going to take that dozen rolls home. Man, Gator just won a dozen rolls. Man, I tell you what. Give I him, don't know another place I could some, win a dozen rolls at. Give, 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 <laughs> him some of, give him some butter with those rolls. <laughs> That's right. And that butter is good. Have you ever had Logan's Steakhouse? I have not. The rolls there are better. Really? Yes. Is that like a chain steakhouse? Yeah, it's a or? chain steakhouse. Okay, Logan. I actually like the rolls better, not going to lie. Do they have them in Texas? I don't know if they do. Is that a Virginia? They have them in East. I know they have them where I live. I mean, it's not like the greatest steakhouse. I just like the bread. You like the bread? Yes. Well, bring those. Bring that bread to... Uh, bring it here next time. <laughs> I'm about to look that bread up right now. <laughs> Actually, there is one. There's one in Hearst, Texas. Up to 104 viewers now. Yeah, they're actually... Thank you guys so much for being with Hearst, us. Hearst, Fort Worth, and uh, Logan's somewhere Logan's Roadhouse. I wonder if yeah. they have any relation to Texas Roadhouse. They just have... I don't think so. I think they're competitors, but... Yeah, competitors. I do like the bread there. I'm not going to lie. All right, all right. Is it... Okay. Interesting. I really like... Rolls at the steakhouse. Did you come here for the steak? Not just the bread. Just the bread. <laughs> <laughs> and RV Phil. Call the 90 with the Queen Jack. The RV coming in. <laughs> like the $100 straddle was on the sand. OFC put it on. Queen 4 4. Oh my gosh. Or OFC. <laughs> Oh, whoopsie, flopping trips. RV with top pair here. Wow, there might be fireworks on this hand. Yeah, we could definitely end up playing a big pot here. Oh, yes. See if RV Phil is in a pot control here. Come in with a check. Let's First see act. What, let's see what happens. That was, the, that was the whole purpose of my race. RV does check. Sam's taking a shot at it here. Fire not three. And OFC just making the call with his trips. Just the call. And at RV, we're definitely going to see him make the call as well. RV. And he's check raising the 900. He said, no, let's make it 900. I came to play. Yeah, he's building the pot here. And this he is, doesn't realize he's bamboozled on this one. This is a beautiful spot for OFC. <laughs> and OFC's just in a dream right now. Yeah, he's licking his chops <laughs> under that beard. <laughs> <laughs> and OFC going to look back. And calls the 900. It looks to be 1905 in the skillet going to the turn. <laughs> All right. It's like the turn went check, check. Let's see what happens here on the river. OFC with the best of it. RV Phil. Bad turn card for RV Phil's hand. It's going to slow him down. <laughs> and RV Phil checks and it looks like OFC put out a bet. 1,500. Let's see if RV can get away from this. Tough spot. Spades did miss. That is a potential hand that OFC could be bluffing with. RV Phil does make the call. RV Phil going to make the call and yeah. see the bad news. Yeah, OFC is going to drag in a nice pie here. Well played him from OFC, checking back the turn. Getting that value on the river from the queen. OFC winning a $5,500 pot. Very nice. And we're, the action is here tonight at Poker House Dallas. Here on the stream, 5, 10 and a quarter. And uh, Eddie Bat just popped his head in to give everyone uh, 3,000 points. 3,000 points. Texas Oprah in the house. Texas Oprah in the Texas house. Texas Oprah. You get points. And you get points. And you get points. Everybody gets points. Everybody gets points. I should have been in the chat to get some points. I, I want to get some commentator points. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> just get like a million points. What can I say? I want a dozen rolls. You're going to get them, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in the mix here. 
Kitty with the A7 of hearts, raising the 150. Frankie with the pocket fives. We got a lot of hands going on. And RV Phil, a couple of ducks, and AJ Big with hands the here. spades. OFC. OFC. Picking up two Come, nines. Coming in with the squeeze here. I think that's the Helmuf nines. Two black ones. Yeah, that's, that's the Helmuth nine. Coming in for 650. Three bet six. And this 50. might bring uh, Kitty Kitty along here. <coughs> she does fold, though. Um, Frankie? I could see Frankie coming in here on the button. And uh, RV Phil makes the call. Yeah, I think RV Phil. And, and this AJ. could be a great spot for AJ to maybe possibly put in a back he raise here. He could put in a back raise here. I mean, there's and almost 2,000 in the pot. pot. Yeah. I see what he does. I think AJ's going to at least call. Oh, for sure. <laughs> He's definitely going to call. It looks like he's got a little more. Oh, maybe he does have about 47 behind. AJ could make a nice play here and just shove. Yeah, I would like this move here. Me too. There's already 2,000 in the middle. OFC is a very aggressive player. Definitely doesn't need a premium hand to put a three bet in. But nope. he's, he's just going to make the call. And it's just going to be a call. And we're going to go four ways to the flop at 500 or $650 each. Let's go. 27.75 in the middle. Oh. Ace 10 deuce. Wow. And RV, RV Phil. Run continues. Flopping bottom set. <laughs> AJ with top pair queen kicker. This is bad news for AJ. And OC and Frankie missing the board. I think we're going to see uh, OFC and Frankie check back here. Man, imagine. I was going to say imagine a, I know. a queen on a turn, but. Yeah. <clears throat> I think if. I think AJ is going to have a really tough time getting away from this hand considering how large the pot is. It is. It's going to be tough because I, I yeah, think AJ is going to bet. Bill here. checks again. Very sneaky. Man, and AJ is going to bet pretty large. AJ, seventeen hundred dollar bet, <laughs> and this is music to Phil's ears. Phil is just thinking, "Am I going to win all of it?" <laughs> and Phil does shove, and Phil with the shove. AJ, it looks like he's only got about 2,500 behind, considering how large this pot is. I think he's going to have a really tough time getting away from this hand. <laughs> looks like he has a little more than 2,500 behind. Looks like he has about 4,000 in purple. Yeah. Looks he, like he might have about over 5,000 behind, actually. He definitely has a pretty decent stack. Wow. This pot's going to be a lot bigger than it's reading. AJ asking him for playing the Nick game. <laughs> AJ in a really, really tough spot here. And that's been that's I mean, been really tough on it, him. Yeah, it's a draw heavy board. This pot is huge. So he's thinking like, is RV still doing this with a hand? Maybe like Jack Nine of Clubs, Queen Jack of Clubs. You know, some kind of pair plus flush draw. Possibly even a worse ace. <clears throat> yeah. I think and he's seen RV Phil make some very aggressive plays tonight, which has to be going through his mind, right? He's got to be in the blender. Got to be time thinking about the hand. King Jack Spades hand he showed Frankie. And I hate to be in AJ spot right now. Yeah. Oh, we got our first super chat of the night. Hey, the Win family, what's up, Hayden? Great stream and good to have you back in the booth. Appreciate Let's go, that, Hayden. Man. Hayden out here getting the four ninety nine. Getting the money. Getting the money. Well, that's gonna <laughs> that'll pay for some of those rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the donation Thanks tonight. Guys. Happy to be here, Mr. Gator. I am always happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me, Poker House. I'm excited to see this action tonight. It's been explosive. Yeah, I agree, Kimmy. RV Phil does have some, some sneaky checks. Man, RV Phil just came to play, and everything's just going his way. Yep. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Men is one of the TDs here at Poker House. Great guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Very he's, nice. He's a local tournament crusher. The wow. man wins like two to three daily tournaments a week. Man. <laughs> Absolute psycho. I keep asking him for lessons. <laughs> right. <laughs> and AJ in a really tough spot. 
still thinking about this one. I just don't blame AJ here. And he lays it down. Great pull there from AJ. That is a great, really nice pull. lay down there. I tell you, I yes. mean, I'd have a tough spot laying that hand. I'd have a tough time laying that hand down to Phil in that spot. Me too, based Phil. Based on what I've seen from him, Phil just in here, just but everything's going Phil's way. Yeah, beautiful flop, beautiful spot there for Phil. Takes down a really, really nice spot. RV Phil. RV Phil, what a crusher! And great pull there from AJ. Really impressed. Really impressed with that fold. Yeah, I great say. fold. He's gonna be. He's gonna be happy to see that one <laughs> for sure. Man, RV Phil just comes in here like a freight train yeah. hitting a Civic. Yeah, and RV Phil. Uh, I can see AJ's. He's feeling a little down right now, but when he goes, when he goes back and rewatches and he sees that hand, he's gonna feel good about. It. He's gonna feel good about that hand. <laughs> Absolutely. Kitty in the mix, raising under the gun, 75 at the 7-5 of spades. Carlos, Queen Jack of Clubs, gonna call on the hijack. And AJ, hopefully he can pick up a hand finally and make something happen. Yeah, AJ coming in for AC to hearts. 275 three <laughs> bet here. Looks like it. And I think we're gonna see Kitty and Carlos call this three bet. I think so. Rena, I was gonna ask when that when that um, cake mug game was coming because I wanted to eat some cake. Oh, oh they bring cake too. <laughs> sounds like fun. Rena time. says she brings cake to the game and she bakes them herself. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> we're up to a little over 120 viewers now. It says we're at 124. Hey, let's go. Let's go, guys. Thank like you so much for being with us. Thank you, you so much for being here. Great action tonight. And here we go with AJ with just. Uh, middle pair and backdoor hearts. Kitty with the spades and Carlos with second pair. He's got the best of it at the moment. Yeah, we're going to see Kitty continue here for a call. And uh, Carlos is going to be in a tough spot with his middle pair. AJ representing a big hand. <laughs> Looks like we got a little bit of a. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, looks like Carlos had three cards. So I know the tournament ruling is that your hand is automatically dead. So what happens in the cash game after all this action? If, if I was a floor and I've been a floor, I would rule it. I, I would have to rule it as a dead hand because it is ultimately the player's responsibility to make sure that they have the correct number of cards. Two cards and not three cards. Right? That they have the correct number of cards. And before that, that he would have to forfeit the money that he put into the pot. Yes, his hand would be dead. Right. Um, <coughs> but I think it's the most fair thing to do. It's a very unfortunate situation. But yeah. you kind of have to do as a floor what's in what's in the best interest for the game yes i agree to the game i agree and and yeah being and in the casino business before myself there's one thing i remember the floor is always right even if he's wrong right and i hate that answer <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it looks like we potentially have some turn action here i don't see we don't see what the turn card is aj coming in with a second barrel and he's going to take it down there so what's going on around the turn? Yeah, unfortunate spot there for Carlos. Um, it does happen sometimes. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Sorry, Carlos. Rena, I want to have some of the cake. you got to remind me when that game is because I'm showing up. I'm coming just for the cake. 
And I'm going to lose $500 just for the cake. <laughs> it's expensive cake. It is expensive. Better cake. be a good cake. <laughs> it better be good. <laughs> hey, if he's gonna give us all gator boots, I'll bring some rolls too. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna be Texas Oprah that day, <laughs> and you get some money, and you get some money. <laughs> all right. Back into the action. Looks like the 50 is on. Yeah, I think the right, I think that was the right ruling there. It is a very unfortunate situation, but um, as long as you're ruling the same way for every player, it's a it's a level playing field, right? I agree. No. You always want what's best for the game. Yeah. All right, so we're back in action here. Moneymaker and OFC. Moneymaker in a good spot here with his ace jack. Dominating the jack 10 of OFC. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, yeah never mind. <laughs> never dominating OFC until you see a flop. OFC. I'm interested to see here. Moneymaker coming in with the C bet. Looks like he bets small. He bets 100. And, and OFC just going to call. Yeah, just calling with his top two. Turns a four. Check. And you think OFC is going to spring the trap now if uh, Moneymaker bets again? And Moneymaker's going to fire. Trying to get value from hands like pair plus straight draw, worst pairs, worst jacks. Yeah, a lot of hands that OFC could have they could get value from. Here OFC it is. putting in the check raise now. Yep. Because I think I got the best hand. Hey, Scott Friedman. Thank you, sir, for the four ninety nine donation. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate the donation. Thanks, Scott. Thank you for being with us. Let's go, Scott. <laughs> and Moneymaker. And don't he's, call he's a check not raise. a believer. He's not at all. There's not a, a believer. That is a tough card now. Because that card hits OFC's range. The eight nines. Yeah. It hits some potential bluffs. It does. And he's going to go for a big bet here. Moneymaker. In the blender on this one. It's kind of tough for OFC to have bluffs here. Like, he'd have to be turning, like, a hand like queen 10 or queen 9 into a bluff. Right. Or you'd have to potentially have like maybe a hand like he's queen. He's just money makers just in a spot to where yeah, this is a complete hero spot. call at this point. And he's got to think oh she doesn't have an 8. I think money makers smart enough to get away from this one. But I think so as well but I wouldn't fault him though fan off of the yeah, I mean. There's always a decent chance that he is bluffing. Eddie Bat in the chat looking for our volunteers for tomorrow. Mr. Tiny is commentating. I'll get back to you on that, Eddie. Got to check with the missus. <laughs> Love to hang out with Tiny. He's a he's a good guy, fun guy. Nice. Exciting that he'll be in the booth tomorrow. There we go. Moneymaker. Man, he wants to call, but he does give it up. He gives it up. Nice lay down. Yep. Good lay down by Moneymaker. <laughs> he says I did not pull the set. <laughs> they said I know. Kimmy said she could do it tomorrow. All right. She says I could do it and Hayden babysits. I'm down for that. Let's hey, do it. Here you go. Love to spend time with the baby. That's always fun. She's the best. <laughs> She's getting very bossy though. <laughs> Tells me to sit down. Woo. Her new thing is she says, "Why do you? Why did you do that?" <laughs> I'm like. Now I have two women in my life saying that to me. 
I have a new boss, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos with two aces. Coming in with the 175. Here we go. RV Phil with the king four of diamonds. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, and I think we're going to see AJ coming as well. He's got a nice suited connector. And he does. It looks like AJ's coming in for the three bet. Looks Bad like time to I three see bet. A purple chip in there. Looks like it's a <laughs> six seventy five. Man, and that, that's going to be that's going to be music to Carlos's ears. And now Carlos, how's he going to play the aces? I think he's got a four bet here. I mean, he's got a player behind him, so he wants to get the spot heads up. Ideally, he wants to increase the size of the pot. He doesn't just have a player behind him. He's got RV Phil yeah, behind he's him. He's got RV Phil behind him. That's a good point. Yeah, I mean, it's and not you want to charge that man to see a flop, that's for sure. I know. Um, so I think I like a size here, maybe like 17, 1800 here. It looks like Carlos. That's why I should say that. It's like we're catching up on the action here, and he does. I like does the sizing. It. Comes in for sixteen seventy five. RV Phil and now. RV does does not want to fold. He, no, he's, he's like feeling, you know what? He the man's been running hot. Exactly. Yeah, Kimmy, I agree. I'm proud of Carlos for putting in the four bet here with the aces. And now AJ just getting in these bad spots. And, but he's going to call. Yeah, he wants, AJ wants to see the flop. Well, he's got one of the best hands to beat two aces. He does have a good hand to beat two aces. And he knows what he's he looking does. for. He knows what he's looking for. Let's see if he gets there. I like, uh, I like Carlos' sizing, man. I think he made a good size with this hand. I like it, too. And he's in a great spot here. Carlos has a great flop here. AJ drawn close to dead. Carlos could potentially find a check here. Try and get AJ to maybe catch up a little bit. I, right. He does bet. I'd like to see a small bet. He comes in with a big size, 3,000. Big size. Almost pot size. And uh, gives AJ no options here. He's going to have to lay it down. And AJ called his hand. Right. Nice hand, Carlos. <laughs> is RV Phil pretending he had no, deuce three? He is, yeah. <laughs> That's actually done, that the players team believe team. it too. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Sure. He got up and they believe it. Yeah. He gave him a good story. Yeah. <laughs> And that's why RV Phil can bluff the way he bluffs. Oh, yeah. He can trick them really well. That's uh, Mark Wee's favorite hand, Deuce 3. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, he likes Deuce 3, and he likes, apparently, Deuce 5 is called Pocket Wee's. Pocket Wee's. <laughs> <laughs> I said in the game last week, I said, Mark, you sure do have a lot of hands named after you. <laughs> RV Phil with the two sevens. Can Phil flop a seven? He, he definitely can. <laughs> he can, and he about may. A sixty percent chance. Of <laughs> I mean, seven. You Which know, the math good. of flopping a set what, is what eight to one for Phil. It's two to one. Yeah, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty just calling here with Ace Jack suited. Kitty and Carlos nice coming in as well. Yeah. Carlos, Jack ten. Three ways to flop. If a seven comes, Ooh, so close. What a flop here <laughs> and good flop for Kitty. Harvey Phil's hand. Two too. overs, not flush draw. Right. RV's got a good flop for his hand as well. Checks back. Wow. And turns a nine. And that picks up outs for Carlos. Everybody got a piece of the board. Yeah, what a turn here. Carlos with an open and a straight draw. Two overs. RV Phil with the pair and a gutter. Kitty with two overs and nut flush draw. Carlos. He's going to make the call here. With the old Jack 10. I think we're going to see Carl uh, Phil come in as well. I don't think Phil's going to fold his hand. <coughs> Queen of Diamonds would be a bad card. Seven of Spades as well. Carlos might get a little sticky. I mean, uh, RV Phil. Deuce, Deuce of, of diamonds. diamonds. And Kitty with the nuts. Beautiful river for her. See what she goes with here, sizing-wise. She's going for the overbet. She's targeting worse flushes, maybe two pairs, straights, just trying to get paid the max. What do you think about a check from her? And 
in your spot here. Man. Because you know a flush is probably going to bet regardless, <laughs> right? Yeah. Or somebody might bluff at it. Yeah. And this bet might be a little too big for Phil. He, he wisely lets it go. He does. Nice hand for Kitty there. Yeah, very good. The five deuce is pocket wheeze. That's what I learned on Wednesday. The five deuce. Five deuce. Over here on hand 45. About halfway through the stream. Seen some great action tonight. Let's pull great up the uh, winnings. Let's see who's. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. Thanks for tuning in. Who's here. winning this game? Poker House Live here in Dallas. Mm, Scratching this game. Let's see. RV Phil. No shocker there. Yeah, up 60, almost 7K. Frankie. Yeah, up 4,300. Having a good night. Good oh, return see. to the stream. Yeah, 1895. <coughs> and Danny up 850. Everyone else in the red, but nobody a uh, huge loser so far tonight. And Carlos, you know, he's about break even with this today, three, down 300. That's not bad. Yeah, strong showing for Carlos, considering he's, he's had some rough hands in the beginning. So. Yeah. And I think he's up an additional $7.50 on the rolls that you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> However much they cost. Are the, roll, are the rolls on Carlos? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're doing a chip count. Doing a count. Gator stepping out for a quick minute to use the restroom. Got 114 viewers in the chat with us so far. Really appreciate all you guys being here with us. It's like we're getting a count on everyone's chips so we can have uh, accurate stacks for you guys. And uh, I think we're going to do start this dealer change with a uh, PLO flip. Stacy is in the box now. Check out some of the stacks. We got AJ sitting with 14,000. He just added on RV Phil, 11,700. Danny, 11,7. OFC, 10,700. Carlos has 9,700. Frankie with 7,300. Moneymaker with 6K. Sam Clark with 4,800. And Kitty with 4,800 as well. So some very deep stacks here. About halfway through the stream. So a lot of action left. Look at the VPIP so far. That's good. Got OFC lead in the pack, 55%. I think it's going to come back up in a minute here. Hopefully, maybe not. Yeah, OFC lead in the pack, 55%. RV Phil, 42. AJ, 37. Moneymaker, 28. Carlos, 26. All oh, right. I need a jack right Looks like they're doing a flip here. And Sam Clark going to win it with the flop nuts. Oh, he did slow away. Hey, he got you. Oh! <laughs> Hundred and eight players, hundred and eight viewers in the chat. Thank you everyone for coming in tonight, tuning in here at the five ten and a quarter game at Poker House Live here in Dallas. I am Paul Tassoni. 
aka Gator and Hayden Fortini's in here in the booth with me tonight. Appreciate everyone here. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this. It's a great way to support the stream. All right, we're here on hand 47. We're halfway through the stream right now. Been a lot of action. Can we get some more explosive action like the first two hours of the stream? And it looks like AJ in here with ace seven of diamonds. He's going to raise it up here. $150 OFC with the ace jack. He's going to call. Which Sunday uh, arena? Um, the one after Easter? And OFC flopping pair of jacks here. Second pair. And AJ going to bet 400 with the A7 of diamonds. And OFC going to call the 400. And OFC <laughs> turning another jack. What a turn here for OFC. What a turn is right. AJ wisely checks. <coughs> Probably in a check fold here. I would assume so. Rena, no, I can't be here this Sunday. I actually have a private game to attend on Sunday, so I won't be here, unfortunately. Oh, it looks like they're playing the Nick game again. I think the Nick game is back on. Sean's got the button, first one. Shocker there. <laughs> I think we all probably would have won that hand <laughs> with those these cards. <laughs> That's right. Four sixteen, Rena. Um, yes, if the private game goes every other week, so if that game's not going, I'll definitely come join on four sixteen. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> those knit buttons are getting put to good use, Mark. We, you need to start selling those knit buttons to the other places around. Yeah, Mark, you should be making some money off of those. <laughs> yeah, you should be. You should should be selling this nationwide. Open up your own uh, net button. Net button warehouse. That's right. <laughs> <coughs> Carlos in here, Jack 10 Diamonds. Can he raise it up with the Ace 8 of Hearts? Yeah, I like the sand. Love Carlos' sand as well. King 7 4. Dealer's got 21. <laughs> I know you're a blackjack player when you see that. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. <laughs> AJ, the only one with the club here. Right. Jack of Hearts on the turn. Picking up in the deuce of clubs on the river. Yeah, AJ River on the AJ can pick up the pot here. like the jack cards in a register. 
and uh, I think AJ is just going to take this one down. Yeah, I think so. It's safe to say. Kennedys and oh. Danny. Wow, Danny. two bullets for the Kennedys. Aces and OFC just went the king. Wow, what we're going to see a here. pot here. Yeah. Wow. We're heads up. Something I haven't seen in a long time. Two aces versus two kings. Oh, Classic catch-up. Oh, wow, what is going on here? Is this guy a magician or what? <laughs> if he flops a king, he's a real magician. Three, five, deuce. Yeah, bad flop for OFC. <laughs> And it goes check check. These guys, both slow playing. Oh, see. Some people would say, "Where's the rest of this pot?" <laughs> I agree. <laughs> they could have got a lot of it in pre-flop. Yeah, and Danny is just gonna call here with the aces. Oh, he's got to think he's good. Good now. Jack of diamonds. I think oh, he's got to feel fairly good about his hand here. He'd think that Danny would bet most flush draws on the flop. The pre flop razor, he's gonna go for value, and he's gonna go for an over pot size bet. And, and Danny makes the call. Danny expecting to see the best hand, and Danny's gonna win a nice pot there. Not the way he expected, that's for sure. Yeah, no way. They could have gotten stacks in pre. Oh, see, got off very cheap he did. there. Nice hand, Danny. Nice hand. I know a lot of players like to check back the aces and some of those low boards. But man. Yeah, he, I, I mean, he did get an overbet on the river, so. He, it was actually not the easiest call on the river because OFC is no. representing, representing a OFC big hands? hand. Yeah, <laughs> OFC hand. OFC Flush hands. got there. Straights, two pairs, all kinds of things. All kinds of things going on. That board is OFC's range. <laughs> it is. One thing about OFC is he has the range advantage on a lot of boards. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that is definitely true. And it looks like he's coming back into this pot with King Ten of Spades. Kitty in there at the 8 6 at Diamonds. Yeah, she's getting in the mix. All right. I like the sand. Carlos, he's in the mix. Looks like Frankie's got a good squeeze spot here at the 10s. Frankie. He's going to put it in. <coughs> and Harvey feels like, I really want to play this hand, Frankie. Yeah. Don't squeeze it. Going to lay it down. And uh, OFC is going to put in a stack of green here. He's not folding. We could see oh, a very, this could be a very, forward. very interesting hand. This is getting, this is getting spicy. Kitty here with the eight six of diamonds. I think she's probably going to call. Yeah. And she calls. <laughs> she does. Carlos, I want to see Carlos call. He's got the button. He's got two live cards. There's a lot of money in the middle. Let's see what Carlos does. Carlos, <laughs> I mean, it's something here. Closing the action, in position. You know what you're looking for with this type of hand? Let's see what we get on this board. And Kitty flops the nuts wow. straight. Oh wow. my god, and Frankie. Frankie. 
with the over pair here. This is a dangerous board though for Frankie. He's got to know that. It definitely smashes OFC's range. Kitty calling a th pre flop three bet and calling a large, calling a pre flop raise and a large three bet. She's definitely going to have sets here. And she comes in with a big, big bet. I'm surprised she bet so much with the nuts straight here. Very big. Yeah, very, very big bet. And can Frankie. This is a tough spot for Frankie. <laughs> Do not want to be in the spot here. <laughs> what do you do here in Frankie's situation? Man, you're in a spot to where she has all of it or none of it. I think this board is smashes her range. She has a lot of the <coughs> sets that make pocket pairs. It does. I mean, apparently, she's got 8-6 suited. She could have some suited connectors. I think, like, best case scenario. Oh, all boy, in. He shoves, and this is a misstep here by Frankie. Really? <laughs> it's, she's wow. He flopped it. You wow. are seeing the action tonight. <laughs> Frankie just check shoves into the nuts. <laughs> Frankie getting his sweat on both boards. <clears throat> yeah, rough, rough spot there for Frankie. Wow. Very nice hand for Kitty. That's why you play those types of hands. You can stack the over pairs on those boards. To win big pots. And let's yep, she did. take a look at this. <laughs> Check out our win loss after this hand. There we are. And uh, Frankie just down 400 after that hand. And Kitty only down 490. Yeah, Kitty, she was down over 5K. Makes make a nice comeback after that pot. RV Phil, still our big winner. And Danny now in the green up 3,500. Everyone yeah. else in the red. <laughs> yep, and she wins the nip button. Oh, so I wonder if the nip button had anything to do with that hand. Some of the action there. Yeah, I wonder as well. And he just check raises right into the nuts. Yeah. Wow. Tough spot, though. We've been seeing a lot of action tonight here at Poker House Live down here in Dallas. <coughs> if you're interested in playing on this stream, get a hold of Eddie Bat. He is the stream manager line of the lineup. And uh, you can get on online and fill out the form. Come on down here and play. You want to mix it up with the pros? You want to mix it up in the high stakes? You want to mix it up in the low stakes? They yeah. got a game for everyone. You want to mix it up with Mr. Gator here? You want to mix it up with me? I'm in there on Saturdays. <laughs> you want to make a pair of Gator boots? You come on down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see here on hand 51. Carlos. He's four diamonds. <coughs> Frankie wants his money back. He's coming in for 300 here with the Queen Jack. <laughs> I don't blame him for wanting his money back. And Kitty, I think she's leaving soon. And Kitty, yeah, getting ready to rack up after that hand. Good time to score a big pot. All right, both players miss here. Frankie is a pre flop aggressor, so. A C bet should take this pot down. Yeah. And Carlos gonna win gonna it. Fold. Carlos gonna give him the pot. Frankie shows. Frankie getting the button, so we're down to Moneymaker <laughs> Carlos. Uh, who else? Moneymaker Carlos. It looks like RV Phil. RV Phil. Phil doesn't have a button, and AJ's uh, got Sam, a button. AJ's got a button. Sam Clark. Sam Clark. So who are we going for next? Who's going to win this? Who do you like next? 
Who do I like? Good question. I'm going to say Carlos. <laughs> All right, you go, Carlos. I'm taking RV Phil. RV, yeah, I like <laughs> I'm I, I, taking I that. RV Phil. You good want to bet. place another wager? Uh, try to get back to even. Oh, man. I, I got to stick, stick with my bet. Let's go, Carlos. Let's go. Wow. Let's go. But RV Phil is a good choice. RV Phil. And a moneymaker with the two ladies. I'm not betting any rolls on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Yep, RV Phil is still running good, Mark. Mark says, I just want to run like RV Phil one time. <laughs> Mark, if you just keep playing, you're going to run like RV Phil. Yeah, Kitty is leaving. She told us ahead of time that she was going to leave about halfway through the stream. <coughs> All right, Kitty. Nice seeing you play today. Hate to see you go. I think I'm going to get a shirt made that says, Run Like RV Phil. We should get those made. Wear it on the stream. Yeah. <laughs> or hat. Got to gotta channel <laughs> that run good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> got to channel that for sure. <laughs> Actually, you know what? If RV Phil would give me one of those United RV hats, I'd wear it on the stream. Because I know it's going to make me run good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, oh, yeah. I got to ask him if, <laughs> if that's the secret. To a sponsored, uh, sponsored pro. For yeah. yeah. <laughs> sponsored pro for yeah. RV Phil. Yeah. Shoo. I'm selling RVs out here. Yeah, that's right. And let's see what's going on with the action here. The cards pop up. <laughs> Looks like Frankie raised Frankie open. Five. Oh, and AJ3 bet. AJ3 oh, bet the button with the, with the RV fills in the mix. Yeah, RV fills in there. Mark Wee, I think so. Free the Wee. <laughs> 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 yes, we get a buy, buy, buy one, get one discount. <laughs> Nine, ten, dude. Oh, wow. Look at this wow. flop here. Frankie with top two. AJ. RV ender. with open ender. And RV <coughs> and AJ both with open enders. This what a gonna, board it's here. going to be a pot brewing here. Yeah. Who do you like in this? Well, you got your man RV. Well, I got my man it. RV. He knows he's think, against top two. I don't think RV is getting away from this one. Man. Um, even if Frankie comes in for a check raise here. I think we're probably going to see RV continue with the call. And RV. I don't blame him. Drawing to the nuts. <laughs> this might be the one bet that gets RV off here. It's only 500. Frankie. Going oh, he shoved. Frankie, oh, Frankie, going, Frankie going for the check rip. Wow. Well, I think it's going to go fold, fold. Yeah. Oh, and RV. Not oh, folding. my gosh. RV Did he rip Phil. it? He RV ripped Phil. it. He ripped it. He came to play. And look at Frankie. He just can't, <laughs> he's just thinking, like, what did I run into, Mr. Phil? Wow. <laughs> I'm RV. telling you what, this has been one of the best streams I've seen. Yeah. RV Man. is ripping it. He doesn't care about AJ behind him. He says, let's go. <laughs> he doesn't I'm getting care. There. RV Phil came here to play, and we're in there. Big pot. <laughs> Frankie wondering if RV flopped a set here. <laughs> oh, my oh gosh. And my RV, gets, RV there gets there immediately. Right away. Wow. RV Phil. They ran it one time. Ran it once and gets there immediately. Wow. Wow. I mean, the action. Gee. RV Phil bringing the pain. GG, Frank. Hey, it's Frank. I don't know if Frankie's done or if he's coming back. That would have been two sets of rolls. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't want to bet against a man. Uh, how can you bet against a man like yeah. RV Phil? They ran it one time. Wow. And RV just got there right away. He said, I came here to play. He sure did. I'll tell you what. <laughs> man. He, he, he made that all in like he knew he was going to have the nuts <laughs> like on the he, turn. <laughs> he, just knew. he said, I know the eight's coming on the turn, guys. I'm all in. I'm all in. <laughs> yeah. Call that if you like money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Brutal spot there for Frankie. Can't blame him with the top two. Got his money in very good. But unfortunately, he ran into, 
he ran into the uh, the freight train that is Mr. RV Phil. Man, I got to get one of those United RV hats off of Phil. I, <laughs> I need him to sign it. I agree, Mark. I, I want to run like RV Phil as well. You're not wrong. <laughs> RV Phil, he needs to play the main event this year. Yeah, I'll take a piece. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Phil, are you selling any action? <laughs> Poker is a crazy game, man. Man, it is. But when you got guys like RV Phil in there, it just makes the it's, game even wilder. Tough. Yeah, it's tough. <coughs> Poker's got no rhyme or reason sometimes. It just... The cards be, have no memory. It can be a crazy ride. It can be. Mr. RV Phil is on, on a great ride. I'm happy for him. He's a great guy. Really enjoy playing with RV. Happy to see him crushing. RV Phil and Mr. Regis both running high. Yeah, Mr. Regis, I played uh, the 1-3 stream with him on Monday. And that man owned my soul. That guy's, that guy's a crusher. In his Gucci flip-flops. He, he is not an old man coffee. He's an old man crusher. He's old man crusher. <laughs> yeah. That's the new MC. OMC. New OMC. Old man crusher. He taught me some lessons. I'll tell you that. <laughs> RV Phil. Yeah, Mr. Regis versus RV Phil would be a fun matchup. <laughs> that would be quite the game. Yeah, Frank. Frankie had Frankie had a really really rough run there. Yeah, he did. And OFC oh, making a full house. OFC, rivering the boat, turning two pair, rivering the boat, and brutal spot here for Carlos. Flop top pair. OFC making the old. Uh, it's going for the overbet here. Mike McDermott hand. Yep, nines full aces. <laughs> and we'll see if uh, we'll see if Carlos can get away from this hand. <sighs> Quite a bet to call if you're Carlos. I think Carlos is going to get away from it, though. <laughs> Danny asking if it feels good. RV Phil's been putting everyone in the poker hospital. I think RV Phil said it does feel good. Turn up the table talk a little bit. Finding the good lay down there from Carlos. Yeah, I figured he would find a fold there. Another nice hand for OFC. So it looks like we got a new player here in the two seat, Oliver. Oliver. Coming in for 5,000. Don't know anything about Oliver. Oliver. I don't either. Looks like Danny's enjoying a glass of wine. Yeah, it looks like it's courtesy of Carlos. Carlos brings some good booze, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, that man's got he's, really he's, good he's taste. He's brought some really nice champagne, very generous. <laughs> um, brings some good wine. He's got good taste. Good taste in clothes, good taste in alcohol. Good, good taste, taste in, in cars. But yeah. Good taste. <laughs> the, man's got, the man's got style and class, that's for yes, sure. Yes, he does. Mr. RV Phil, wondering... Wondering who the next victim's gonna be sitting in the <laughs> right. sixth seat. Come sit down on my right, son. <laughs> RV Phil, not just putting people in the poker hospital, he's ready to put them in the poker grave. Yeah. Man. The bottle of Merlot has been broke. 
Oh my god, that's Let's turn that down. <laughs> 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 click, click, click. <laughs> um. <laughs> Almost say about that one. <laughs> oh, see, coming up two, three. <laughs> All I can say is he was mixing it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Carlos here <laughs> flopping the best of it. And Carlos here hitting the top <laughs> pair. This time it's good against OFC. And this lead out should just take the pot down here. <coughs> coming in for a pot size bet. <coughs> Interesting. And he shows it. He shows the deuce. And OFC says you gotta show both. And you see the eight. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh man. We are having a lot of fun here tonight at Poker House Live. Great time. Man. I really enjoy watching this game. I mean, what a game tonight. <laughs> OC mixing it up. Danny. Harvey Game Maker, Carlos, RV Phil. RV Phil just crushing Man. it. Just crushing it. AJ in the game, Sam Clark in the game, Kitty was in the game. <laughs> and Carlos is out here trying to stop the the rain that Phil is on right now, but <laughs> gotta do gotta do what you can. <laughs> gotta do what you can, but I don't know if anything's gonna stop RV Phil. The man is unstoppable. <laughs> the man the is unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play like RV Phil when I grow up. <laughs> I just want to be like RV Phil. <laughs> This hand here, OC oh, we'll with bottom pair, RV Phil. Yeah, RV Phil's picked up a straight draw, so he's not folding. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to fold that. RV Phil calling for oh his six, gosh. and he, he banked <laughs> it. And he just so happens to have the second nuts, and he bets right out. You tell me. <laughs> Is anyone more unstoppable than RV Phil? Man, you can't stop this man. That man cannot be stopped. <laughs> Love it. It's such a good feeling to just run this hot. I know. Eddie, you're going to have to call the fire department because RV Phil's on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that man. We're going to need, need backup. <laughs> we're going to need backup big time. We got a seat open, guys. <laughs> there you go, Hayden, hop on in. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> the RV fell behind me. I, I'm not sure what I'd do. <laughs> I don't know if you could pay me to sit with RV Phil, but Oliver with the two aces. Yeah, welcome to the stream, Oliver, picking up aces, one of his first hands. <laughs> Three betting a 375. Yeah, coming in. Three betting one of the most aggressive players in the game, OFC. He's not going anywhere with his 10 yeah, OFC is, is continuing here. He says, What do you have, Oliver? You got aces? That's not a problem for me. Yeah, I, I can do this. I can <clears throat> I can beat aces. <laughs> not with that board, though. 7 4 deuce. Yeah, great flop here for Oliver. <laughs> Gonna C bet it. Probably take it down. Yep. Check bet fold. Very nice hand. All right. Oliver dragging in his first pot. Uh, Bryce Williams wants to know how Sam Clark is doing tonight. Let's pull up the uh, let's pull up the winnings. Pull it up and check it out. Check it out. Ah, down 2,020. RV Phil up 11,700. Just another casual night for him. Crushing the game. Casual night for RV Phil. And... RV Phil, what a legend. What a legend. <laughs> if I don't get one of those hats from RV Phil, I'm going to be upset. 
I've got to ask him for one. Yep. And uh, Bryce, uh, hate myself, Hayden Fortini, and uh, Paul Tassone, a.k.a. Gator. Yes. Are in the booth tonight. What's up, Bryce? Calling the action. Thank you for being with us. Yes, sir. Got 103 viewers in the chat. Thanks for being, da being here on the stream, tuning in the stream, Poker House Live here in Dallas. We have had an action packed stream tonight. And I hope that there's some more action. Bryce Collins for the Sam rest Park of the Poker will make the comeback. Yeah. He's, he's a solid player. He can definitely do it. <coughs> Got some poker left tonight. Probably about an hour and a half left in the stream. chat tonight the chat you got any questions tonight yeah guys let us know yeah ask us anything what do you guys want to know tonight that short she is a tough uh tough german player he's fun to watch though he gets in the mix he's very aggressive he came in last night towards the end of the stream <laughs> yeah i remember he, he yeah. came in last night He's, he's a top player, in my opinion. Yet another German. German crusher. <laughs> I've heard rumors of that, Bryce. I've heard rumors. But I cannot confirm or deny. I don't want to talk about things that I don't know about. <laughs> but she did stack him, so there's no uh, no <coughs> soft play there. Not take it easy on him. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, just all kidding. Good. All good. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. So we got Danny raised preflop, popping top two. Looks like... Looks like Danny must have made a bet on this flop. I don't think he would check top two pair on this board. Oh, looks like Danny bet 300 on the flop, and he's betting 1,500... Oh no, <coughs> OFC oh, turning man. two pair. Very bad spot for OFC leading out for 1,500. And Danny here with the aces and nines. And Danny coming in for a raise. And this is going to be a really, really tough spot here for OFC. Danny coming in with the raise. He wants to charge Phil for any draws that he may have. Like this play. I think Phil's going to be able to get away from his ace here. Seven deuce game is not on right now, Bryce. And this is a tough spot. <coughs> and OFC lays it down. What wow. a fold from OFC. Snap folds. <laughs> Snap folds. Snap folds. Very nice hand, Danny. God, OFC is just like so good sometimes. Just gets away. <laughs> Let out for pot on turn. Got away. Lost the minimum there, in my opinion. So it's too big sizing. I don't know. Oopsie bet 1500. It looks like Danny raised the 4200. So, not a huge size. <laughs> he said, uh, Oops, the, you Oops, guys just for a hot player. Oh, dude. I don't know. What do you do for a player that's running good? I put water on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It's technically not, it's supposed to be, each hand is supposed to be random, so it's not supposed to matter too much. But I do think that when people are running good, they have more confidence. They do. And they might just, like, play better, make better decisions. So mm -hmm. you just have to keep that in mind. 
Poker is a psychological game, so when you're running hot, things are going your way, you're likely to play better, maybe be more aggressive in some spots, take down some more pots, um, and players just kind of get fed up with you as well, so you tend to get paid off in, uh, in some big pots as well. Um, so just definitely something to keep an eye on, <coughs> keep, uh, keep in mind while you're playing. Phil King 10, he's yeah, not going in. Yeah, he's on the button. This is a hand RV Phil. This is an RV Phil RV race. Three bets, 400. And him <laughs> and Danny are very, very deep stacked. Oh, yeah. Danny. And RV says, bring it, Phil. <laughs> OFC with the ace queen. Yeah, OFC not folding this hand. And Danny. <clears throat> so because OFC called, this might be a spot for Danny to come in with the four bet here. I wouldn't be surprised to see him do it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And he's going to do it. Yep. I like this play from Danny. Interested in Phil's not Phil's not going anywhere. He says bring it, Danny. Yeah, he said fifteen hundred. That's a bargain. It's peanuts for me. That's right. And I've seen a tough spot here at the Ace Queen. I think Danny's four betting range here is pretty strong, so I personally would get away from this Ace Queen, but we'll see what OFC does. Uh, Bryce said 3B is the um, third blind. Yeah. So we're playing 5, 10, and a quarter. And OFC. Thinking what to do. He's gonna, he wants to see a flop. He wants to see a flop. Great spy here for wow. Danny. He's got both of, his, both of his opponents dominated. We are playing some poker. How about an ace-king-10 board? Oh, man. An RV. RV <laughs> He's got the best hand. How does he do it? And this is a terrible <laughs> board for Danny. If you think about, like, these players cold calling ranges, what they're calling three bets and four bets with, a lot of the hands connect with this type of board. So this is a really, really rough flop for Danny. Um, if he checks here, the green light is on Phil to take down the spot. And he checks back. And RV Phil still with way the best of it. A king would have been a brutal turn card for Danny. Man, really would have been. And this is an even worse turn for Danny. I think we'll just see him check here. He's just praying to get the showdown on this point. Right. And RV coming in with a big bet here, and I think he's just going to take down another pot. The run continues for RV. His stack is up to 19,000 now. Just absolutely crushing. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Just, I haven't seen him. I can't remember last time I saw him lose a hand, Mark. Oh. Um, what is the three bet from RV Phil? I mean, he's RV Phil. And he's got the button. And he's got King 10. And he's and coming in with a race. The man's a crusher. You see what's happening here firsthand, Bryce. That man came here to play. He's here to play, <laughs> man. And that's it. This man has been crushing the games recently. Just crushing. If, if you had a choice between playing RV, Phil heads up, or Phil Ivy, who do you pick? At this point? Yeah. I'd have to play Ivy. Me too. I can't, <laughs> I can't play RV, Phil. <laughs> oh, no. Man, RV, Phil. Now if I see RV, Phil sit down on the table, I'm running. I'm running out of the room. <laughs> Care what game it is, <laughs> RV Phil's in one two. I'm leaving. <laughs> Bye. <clears throat> Eddie just told me that RV Phil's playing the Mars stream. Eddie, I gotta go. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I'm canceling. RV Phil's there. I'm canceling. <laughs> <laughs> 
Say your prayers, Gator. <laughs> right. <laughs> RV Phil's going to have Gator seats for his RV. <laughs> <laughs> RV Phil, absolute crusher. Man. I love seeing him crush. Me I've been too. playing with Phil for over a year now. <laughs> uh, he's a great guy. Always have a lot of fun with him at the table. So it's fun seeing him go on a run like this <laughs> and just absolutely smashing. <laughs> right. It's just smashing. And I'm telling you tonight, Poker House Live is bringing you the pain tonight, bringing yes. you the action here in the DFW. Harvey Phil is like the, he's the Terminator. Man, he, he is beyond the Terminator. <laughs> he is the end boss. <laughs> he is the end boss. <laughs> he is the alpha and the omega. Harvey Phil. <laughs> He's my new favorite player. Man, let me tell you what. Somebody ever asked me who my favorite poker player is? It's RV Phil, baby. All right. Back into the mix. King 4-9 on the flop two spades. RV Phil with the jack eight. Moneymaker, the old 9-6. Oh, RV going to try to take this one away from Mr. <laughs> Moneymaker. RV's got some intentions. Look at that look. <laughs> Ace on the turn. Good card for RV to steal it. <clears throat> no, RV check back. Check. And he hits the <laughs> jack on the river. <laughs> well, who needs to steal it when you can get there? I don't think Frankie's coming back, Kimmy. Hourly rate, I think, is thirteen dollars an hour. That's that's correct, thirteen dollars. But you an hour. get a discount if you buy more hours. Yes, you could buy um, five hours for fifty-five, and you can buy uh, twenty hours for two hundred. Tournaments, I am. I don't have any knowledge on that except for Katie's game on Wednesday. Katie's game on Wednesday. It's a hundred dollar buy-in. Uh, it's it's regularly getting over three hundred players now. First place is between six and seven thousand. They have a lot of great tournaments here. Um, probably on their website, you can get a full full list of their their tournament schedule but they have tournaments uh every day of the week uh cash games running uh you can usually find one two no limit here um you can find uh plo bomb pots they often play a one three round of each game uh sometimes you find plo um tonight they're playing a two five round of each game one hit one round of uh, plo one round of hold'em so a lot of great action a lot of different games to choose from they have something for almost everyone here, so yeah. I highly recommend checking this place out. And as for the larger games, on the weekends, you know, you definitely get the 5, 10, and quarters pretty much Friday and Saturday. Uh, the Friday night game usually is 5, 10, and quarter of the 50 straddle, and the Saturday night game is always 5, 5, 10 with the quarter straddle. Yes. So tonight this is playing more of a 10 and a quarter. Uh, there's been some 50s on, but I don't think every single hand yeah not every hand but there's been 50s on a lot hundreds on a few times so right these players are gambling it up harvey phil in here at the five deuce <laughs> actually harvey phil has the best hand yeah he does see if he can <laughs> if he can hang on he's not gonna fold for 150 uh, Harvey uh, Phil, come on! You're making me look bad now. You can't win every hand. You know, I need him. Gotta, to, I need you, him to win every. You gotta let him. You gotta <laughs> let him win once in a while, Gator. You know. You know the trick. <laughs> I did, or maybe maybe that's what he's doing. He's setting them up. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Man, AJ taking a rare pop from Mr. Harvey Phil. <laughs> Very rare sighting. Harvey Phil wins almost every pot that he's in. If he isn't there, he gets there. <laughs> and Carlos with the bottle of actual holy water. Can he can he cool down <laughs> Harvey Phil? Cool down Harvey <laughs> Phil. But Harvey Phil Blocks the holy water. RV Phil. RV Phil said that doesn't work on me. I'll win every hand still. <laughs> AJ. Jack, ten of diamonds. Yeah, AJ with a nice hand here. 
Moneymaker. Moneymaker coming in for call. <coughs> Carlos, seven Car sticks of diamonds. Yeah, Carlos going to see as well. Puts the holy water on top of the cards. I think he should do that when RV fills in the hand. Absolutely. Oh, man. You should point it at him. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Moneymaker's got the best out of the 7 8. Yeah. <laughs> nice card protector. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna lead out here. I think we're gonna see Moneymaker come along with the call. AJ thinking about raising. Will it's a go? <laughs> and Moneymaker. We call it 250. I think this ace on the turn is probably going to slow both players down. As it should. They are now chopping. At the moment. Carlos. I think I'm not putting a bet in, I think. If he does, Moneymaker's going to be in a tough spot, but he, he checks check. back. Very reasonable. Green hearts. Yeah, both players aren't going to like this card. I think it's probably going to go check check here. Carlos. Carlos, if he does, if he does bet at this, he's probably gonna take it down. That's but a they're check. Gonna, yeah, they're gonna chop it up. <coughs> gonna be happy to chop it up here. <laughs> you gonna call that bullshit? <laughs> Carlos, <laughs> 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 the water out. <laughs> Carlos needs to point it at RV Phil. <laughs> Sam Clark requesting <laughs> Mr. Regis. It's quite yeah. a good request. Can we bring Regis here? Yeah, I think, I think, I think we throw all the way in. Yes, we go for Regis, Mr. Regis. Oh. Mr. Regis in the seat, please. Can Mr. Regis in the seat? He's already here. Yeah, he's being square. I'm telling you. I just need to be the whole action. Who's on his way? <laughs> Somebody's on the way. He's walking. All the way to Jeremy. I would love to see... Uh, I'd love to see Mr. Regis. I feel like he's the one man that could put a stop to Mr. RV Phil. He is the one man. <laughs> he's the one man that can throw him off. I'll tell you that. That really could be <laughs> the battle. That would be a sick battle there. It would be. And, uh, Mr. Regis would say, I don't care if you got position on me, RV Phil. I'm, co I'm coming after you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> There's one man with a wider range than OFC and RV Phil combined, and that's Mr. Regis. <laughs> 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 That's pretty sick. <laughs> and AJ, deuce, deuce, ten board. Mr. Regis's range is 110 percent of hands. <laughs> <laughs> OFC 7 4 clubs. We call the 50. A moneymaker with a very nice hand here on the button. Yeah. Mr. RV Phil. 
RV fill. in the mix. Still not going anywhere. The old 9-6. Hmm. What a flop here. What a flop is right. Great flop from Moneymaker. <laughs> RV Phil needs an 8. Yeah, but RV Phil's probably not going anywhere on this board. <laughs> I don't think so. Moneymaker here is the flush draw and the two overs. <laughs> RV Phil says, <clears throat> all right, 250 for an 8 ball. Here it comes. 8 of spades coming right on the turn. That'd be a sick card. <laughs> oh, he's going to call as well with his middle pair. <coughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 10 of spades. And Moneymaker picking up additional yeah, outs here. Picking up an open and straight draw here. What a card for him. And RV Phil coming right out for 1,200. Man, RV Phil. Putting the pressure on. <clears throat> he's really ramped up the aggression. <laughs> and... And Moneymaker, I mean, he's definitely going to at least call here, but it's an interesting spot to potentially come over the top of Mr. RV. It is. With this big hand. But do you want to do that against Phil when he's been running this hot and he's been snapping people off? So the RV Phil is... Yeah, Moneymaker just going to call here. Not a force to be reckoned with. Don't blame him. But if Moneymaker bricks this river... And RV Phil wow. goes for it. He's going to win this pot. RV Phil's going to go for can, it. Can RV Phil pull the trigger here? I knew. I know that RV Phil's going to go for it. He's not going to let us down. RV Phil is going to go for it. Oh, what? he checked. RV Phil. <clears throat> I could have swore RV Phil had another and bullet in him. checks back and he's expecting to lose and he's going to be very delighted to win this pot absolutely king high you did it. <laughs> <laughs> and money maker and first uh, first first missed up there from RV but I mean, it's tough. When Moneymaker calls you there, calls that big bet on the turn, you got to think he's got something good, right? Yeah. So I mean, he could be trapping there. He could be have a very strong value hand. So I don't blame RV for for giving up on the pot there. Um, I don't either. Moneymaker did have one of the few hands that would probably lay down to a river shove. I agree. Yeah. <coughs> so it's easy for us here in the booth to say he should have gone for it, but. We just expected RV. He's been such a beast all night. I mean, he's just RV uh, Phil. I'm expecting him to Phil, do RV yeah. Phil things. <laughs> but, man, it's been fun to watch, watch him play. Yes, it has. OFC with the two threes. Carlos, ace queen on the button. Coming for the raise. I like it. I like it. Lucky for Carlos, RV Phil is away from the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he needs RV Phil to be away from the table. Nine seven deuce on the flop. Oh, see, with the best of it, Carlos. Does he see bet here? No. Looks like check check, and check check, and an irrelevant deuce. And OFC <coughs> gonna go for some value. I like this bet here. Trying to get called by Ace High. Yep. Carlos in a tough spot, and OFC Carlos getting the value. Call. Very nice hand, OFC. Skullbone just subscribed. Thanks, Skullbone. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing. Hit the like and hit the like button here if you enjoy this stream here at Poker House Dallas. Trying to bring a great stream tonight. There's been a lot of action here this lineup tonight. Me off the best 
Yeah, RV. Very nice hand coming for the three bet. Sam Clark in a tough spot here with his ace ton of diamonds. Gonna lay down. And OFC coming in for the cold call for 500 here at the 6'5 of clubs. I think we're going to see Carlos call as well. The ace queen. All these players have very nice hands. Definitely see a collision here between RV and Carlos. <laughs> the right flop comes out. RV's going to flop a king. <laughs> <laughs> nine nine four board. Nine nine four. So if RV continues the aggression here, he think he can take this one down. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Jack of clubs on the turn. Checks through. Looks like we're checking through again. And uh, Carlos is going to win this pot if no one bets at it. I think this is going to be Carlos's pot. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like checked around. Nice hand, Mr. Carlos. Oh, no, Phil bet it. Phil bet? Phil bet and took it down. RV Phil. RV Phil making up for. He is making up for time. It. Let's go. The knit game is coming back into play. Who do you like for to get the button first? RV Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I mean, who else can you pick? I mean, yeah, I mean, obvious it, choice. It, it would be pure insanity to pick anybody else. With this pure point. insanity. <laughs> Man, I, if you're new here in the chat tonight, we got Hayden Fortini here in the chat, in the booth with us. I'm Gator, a.k.a. Paul Tassoni, and I'll be playing tomorrow on the stream. Catch me there tomorrow. Please like and subscribe. Yeah, come check them out. Thank you for the support here at Poker House Live. Tell you what, if RV Phil's playing tomorrow, I'm leaving. <laughs> You watch out for Mr. Phil, I'll tell you that. Bring <laughs> bring the holy water. Bring bring get, everything get, you can. Get some extra bottles. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bring more than holy water. Right, looks like we're coming in for another flip. We're doing a $50 flip again. Yeah, $50 flip here. All right. <laughs> looks like hearts for somebody. Someone, Danny's got a flush. Danny has a flush. Looks like Danny's going to scoop this Danny one. Danny still has a flush. Yeah, Danny's got the best hand. Danny's going to win that one. Good hand for Danny. Best hand you played all night, Danny. <laughs> Just a just an Omaha flip for fifty dollars each. Skullbone, is that picture a? It looks like a '69 Camaro. I can't tell. What is it? Your profile picture. into the mix. <laughs> 69 SS. That's one of my favorite cars. I thought that was a 69 Camaro. There's a man with a taste in cars. RV. RV coming Phil. in with Ace Jack. The Ace Jack. Premium hand here in the cutoff. <laughs> and 
Do you play a hand against RV Phil? Can he be stopped? Be very <laughs> careful. <laughs> know what Four you're getting into. Tray. Danny with the six deuce. And Danny popping the best hand here. <laughs> RV Phil. It's like they are an RV <laughs> Phil. He just rivers it. Shocker. He RV it. Phil with the river. Danny. He said he can't fold. Yeah, it's going to pay off, Mr. Phil. <laughs> Mr. Phil Mr. Phil's win. going to win a dragon another pot. Dragon another pot. Let's check out the winnings. Let's see, let's, see how everyone's doing. Let's see. Mr. RV Phil crushing the game. <laughs> Just RV over 14 k Phil! 14,000. What a beast. Wow. Danny up 45.20. Moneymaker up 980. Oliver 285. Everybody else. A little bit stuck. Hey, if you can get out of this game in the green with RV Phil at the table, I consider that a uh, quite the accomplishment. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Skullbone, you need to drive that 69 Camaro SS down here at Poker House. I want to see it. Are you a big car guy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love cars. Absolutely. <laughs> you got a Mustang, right? Uh, I have a... Um, I have a... Um, Hellcat Challenger. Hellcat Red Challenger. Eye. Okay. 797 horsepower. Sick. Very sick. <laughs> it's fast. <laughs> <laughs> and AJ coming in here with the Jack 9. Okay, sure sure she. Yeah, defending the fours. <clears throat> AJ flopping the best though with the Jack 9. The aggression is rewarded. Flopping top pair. <laughs> From New York, well, I'd like to see it come down and play one time. Turn, five of diamonds. I think Frankie ended up down. I think he bought him for 3,000, Bryce. And uh, he was up at one point, and he ended up... Um, uh, doubling up Kitty and then getting stacked by Phil. So I think he finished down 3,000, and I think Kitty broke about even. Yeah. If I, I remember correctly. That sounds about right. Yeah. And that AJ going for the double barrel here, and George, uh, Shorshi not believing him here, going to call twice. <laughs> not believing him at all. Yeah. Get the clubs on the river. Yeah, bad river for both players. I expect this one to go check check. Yeah, and AJ's going to take a nice pot here versus Mr. Shorshi. <coughs> yep. Win that top with the jack. Pair of jacks. Lego, yes. A little car talk. Poker talk, car talk. Gambling talk. <coughs> Holy water talk. <laughs> Main subject, RV Phil talk. <laughs> RV Phil. RV Phil. What a well, Looks like they are playing the Nick game, so RV's got they one. Are. RV and well. AJ. RV, of course, got had one. <laughs> won that pot right away versus Danny. Man, yeah, that's right. We said RV Phil taking him right from the beginning. Bang. Yep, he did. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> He's a you? lock. He's a lock. <laughs> that's right. He is a stone lock. <laughs> RV Phil. <laughs> Cake talk. I'm excited to have the cake from Rena. OFC with the Ace King. Yep. <laughs> Oliver with two eights. Huge hand on the button here. We'll see what Oliver's going to do here with these eights. <coughs> going to come in for the call. I don't blame him. Streams are six days a week, every day but Tuesday. Did I get yeah. that right? Oh. Um, yeah, that sounds right. Every that day is correct. a different yep. stream, though. Every day is a different stream, yep. <coughs> Monday night, they usually have a 1 2, 1 3 stream. OFC flop and top pair here. It's Oliver eights. Eight. Um, Wednesday is Katie's game. Thursday is um, it's it's either PLO stream or high stakes, no limit. Last night, we had a quarter 50 50 game. Uh -huh. Wednesday or Friday night is what you're seeing now 5 10 and a quarter. Saturday is uh, 5 5 10. 25 essentially and uh, Sunday is the next gen stream 
which is usually a 2-5 game. When's that, Sunday? Sunday, yes. 2-5 game, yeah. 2-5, 1,500 cap. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Carlos check called the flop and leading this oh, turn. Let's see. Hopes he's not going anywhere with his hand. No, I wouldn't <coughs> either. Great river card for OFC. I think Carlos realizing he's in pretty rough shape here. Does wisely check. And uh, I expect I expect to see OFC go for some value on this river. <coughs> Carlos lays it down wisely. Yeah, nice hand for OFC. He can do there. Skullbone, what um, what's your race times on the quarter mile? Are you pushing 11 seconds, 10 seconds in that car? Phil on a full to ten three. All right, Sam Clark. Wow, nine second car. That's fast. Nine seconds. What does that mean? That so it goes. He's running a quarter mile in under ten seconds. Wow, that's fast. That's very fast. Very fast. Um, especially for that car, it has um, a lot of weight. To get it to nine seconds is extremely fast. Wow. Sounds very fast. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> That's fast. <laughs> Jack ate Jack. And Sam Clark with King Six of Clubs. Oliver just going to take a stab at 5 3 at Clubs. Yeah, nice bet here from Oliver. Taking it down on the button. Well done. Yeah. The nine seconds is faster than my car. It runs high 10 seconds, and my car's fast. Yeah. So for him to get that is impressive. That sounds impressive. Yeah, it's very fast. Yeah. <coughs> I'd love to see it in real time. <laughs> <laughs> to getting something like that is scary. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting to 100 and some miles per hour extremely very, fast. Yeah, very quick. <laughs> yeah. Gets the blood pumping, huh? I'll take you for a ride. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll speed to get to uh, Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> You're going to feel it. You owe me 12 rolls. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me 12 rolls. We're going to get there. Yeah. In under 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Danny coming in for aggressive three by here versus Mr. Sam Clark. All right. On the button. King seven hearts. 625. Danny. Trying to get RV Phil out of the pot. AJ with the check, 10 hearts. And I think we're going to see Sam Clark. Surprised to see him fold the King Jack suited there. <laughs> right. Giving but Danny a lot of respect. Danny's, you know. He's been he's been tight tonight. He's been yeah. solid. Showed his hand. Playing he solid, wanted that man. knit button. He did want that knit button, that's for sure. I heard the place um, Lego, the Italian restaurant Lego took uh, Eric and Eddie too. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but Gary's, I yeah. heard really good things about it. That's close so, to me. Is it? Yes. Okay. Apparently, the guy shut down the whole restaurant for the four of them. <laughs> really? Which is crazy. Wow. <laughs> but, and he's, he was working by himself, so he did everything. He waited at the table. Wow. He made the food. They said it was some of the best food they've ever had. That's incredible service. And he gave Eddie a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Where else can you go and get that? I know. I want to check that place <laughs> out. Yeah. I, I want to go next time, too. It sounds fantastic. Yeah, that does sound really good. Yeah. Uh, um, Sounds like a fun time. AJ with the two nines. Sam with the A7 of yeah, spades. Sam, Sam three bet and A7 of spades here. 450. Like the aggressive play. And RV with the king queen. He's not folding this hand. No. RV's in the mix, baby. Yeah. RV happy to call. And I think we're going to see AJ call as well with the nines. Oh, yeah. Three ways to the flop, 1365 in the skillet. And RV, flop in the open ender. Another great flop for RV, <coughs> two yes. overs. And an open ended straight draw here. AJ with the best of it, but and it's a bad the flop. greatest board. It's a bad board for both of his opponents. <coughs> Sam Clark really whiffing the board here. Yeah, it's a rough spot, rough flop for us, Sam Clark. Yeah. Let's I like the check the back. Brings in. <laughs> Oh, wow. Now, AJ. Yeah, great turn for AJ. At first, I thought it was a nine. <laughs> of course, a nine would be sick. <laughs> right. That might be coming really on the sick. river. <laughs> right. But RV leading right out here for over pot size bet. 1,500 puts AJ in a really tough spot here with his nines. Yep. He is open-ended, but he's facing those two over cars on the board. Um, tough AJ. spot here. AJ, AJ in the blender, the so to speak. Ender. Yeah. What do you think? You think AJ is going to put the 1,500 in? He is. Well, he might be grabbing raisin chips, but I think he's just going to call. A raise would be sick. A raise would be. He'd be a brave man to raise RV Phil in this Very spot. Very brave man <laughs> to raise RV Phil ever. I think RV Phil might not even get away from it if you raise him. <laughs> RV Phil, re-raise you back. Okay, he does make the call. <clears throat> okay, now let's see the river. And if RV Phil does miss here, but does RV Phil have it in him? To put that barrel in. Yeah, if he does fire, follow through, it's going to be a really tough spot here for AJ. It is. And RV Phil. Thinking about putting that bullet right in here. And he checked. Check. And I think AJ's going to be happy <coughs> to check back here and get the showdown with this hand. I agree. Nice hand there for AJ. Very good. <laughs> RV Phil, he is scary. Nice hand there for AJ. Quite an accomplishment to drag a pot versus Mr. RV Phil tonight. That is. Let's go. I'm getting hungry, so I'm ready for that Texas Roadhouse. Let's later. go. You owe me those rolls. I'm holding you to it. <laughs> <laughs> those rolls I'm taking home telling the wife, look what I won today. Let's do it. I'm down. <laughs> She's going to be like, you didn't win any money? <laughs> no, just rolls. rolls. Just rolls. Even better. Even better. I'm feeding yeah. the family. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, see with the queen eight. Back home, we call that the Delmer. Moneymaker. King five of spades. <coughs> Raise it to 100 and a quarter. <laughs> Carlos. Couple of deuces. Quack, quack. Couple of ducks. I'm sorry, guys. If I knew how to get points, I would. <laughs> Texas Oprah, a.k.a. Eddie's the only one that knows. Yeah. Eddie will come in here and uh, bless you guys with some points. Eddie, come in here and bless the chat <laughs> with some points, please. Good people deserve it. And RV Phil. Yeah, he's waking. Woke up with the two queens here. Two queens. And he's gonna get some customers this hand. Two queens coming right out of the RV <laughs> <laughs> and into the pot. Yeah. Three bet, three and a quarter, and he's gonna get some action. He is. Man, let's see what happens. 
Ooh, rough, Ooh, man, rough flop here for everyone. RV doesn't have a diamond. Yeah, nobody likes this flop. <clears throat> Not at all. Or that turn. Moneymaker picking up the best hand. And I think that yeah, Mr. Eddie, our prayers have been answered. Mr. Texas Oper coming Texas in. Texas Oper himself coming point. in with the points, baby. <laughs> Blessing the chat. Blessing the chat with 5,000 5, points. 5, points. Let's go. <laughs> That's what the people want. RV Phil. And look at this. Shorshi coming in with a bluff on the river here. Two fours. Sick play. Love it. RV Phil, what's he going to do? You going to lay it down? You don't see this a lot in these check down pots. No, you don't. And uh, Moneymaker in a really tough spot here. <clears throat> what's Moneymaker going to do with the king? With Carlos behind. Yeah, tough spot with the player behind you. He does give it up, and Carlos is going to lay it down. And Shorshi getting it through with the two fours. Yeah, nice play there from Shorshi. Love it. Love the aggression. Shorshi kicking in the door with the four four. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> Very nice hand, Shorshi. All right. I've had a lot of fun on the stream tonight. Yeah, it's been a great a time. Action. Some great action here. Thank you all for being with us. We've been pretty much over 100 viewers for a lot of the stream. Yeah, really consistent strong. Consistent 100 yeah. viewers. Where's Sam Clark from? He's from England? Or he's from... Where's he from exactly? Do you know? You can't tell by the accent? I guess he's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's from... He's from uh, the UK. The UK. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. <clears throat> and Oliver picking up the two queens. They left RV's fill. RV fills RV over to Oliver. Yeah, and RV coming in with the three bet here with the king, queen of hearts. Right. Love this hand. Um, Interested to see if uh, Oliver's going to come in for the four bet. And OC. OFC with the <laughs> jack ten of hearts. Got to make the call. I love the RV fill three bet to 600. And I think Oliver's going to put the four bet in. What do you think? I think so, too. I'd like yeah. to see it. <clears throat> His stack size is a little awkward. He's got a... He started with about 5,500. <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah. He's reaching. He's reaching over Mr. OFC to do it. <clears throat> Now, and he's coming in for 1800. Harvey Phil, I think he's putting 1200 in there. <laughs> if I were a betting man, I'd bet that RV Phil put 1200 more in there. Oh, for 100%. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think that's a lock. Yeah. Oh, I think RV Phil's going to come in for a call here, and that <laughs> might bring uh, OFC in for a call as well with the Jackson <laughs> Hart. Yeah, I mean, RV Phil's got 16,000 from him. How's he going to fold for 1200 more? Oh, Bryce says he's UK's biggest poker vlogger. All right. All right, let's go. And look at this. RV Phil looks like a call. OFC looks like a call. We have a pot brewing. 1,800 each. And wow. What a flop. Oh, my gosh. RV Phil. <laughs> RV Phil flopping the nuts straight. Versus Jack oh. 10 for two pair for OFC, OFC right? He's got top two, and Oliver, Oliver has the open ender straight flush draw. What is Within going a, on? What a flop here. Oh I think all the money's gosh. going in. This is huge. Oh, my gosh. This is this is the pot you wait for right here in RV Phil. Yeah, RV's not going to fold here. <laughs> no. I think no he's, way. I think he's going to ship it, and OFC is going to be in a really tough spot. And Oliver, I see Oliver folding with all this money in the pot. No, I think Oliver ripped it. Behind? I think Oliver shoved already. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like we got a little bit of a pause in the graphics here. It was like this. 
Okay. I see some action. It's an all in. Did RV Phil ship it? Wow. So Oliver looks like he went all in. RV Phil went all in. And now yeah. OFC. OFC is in a brutal spot Man, here. What a spot so, to be in. So the flop is Jack 10 9 all spades. It's not showing up on the <laughs> graphics right now. Right. So we got uh, RV Phil flopping the nuts straight. It's not the nuts, but the best possible straight. Um, and Oliver with a straight flush draw in the over pair. And how about this? How and about OFC RV? Top two pair. What a hand. In second place with the straight. <laughs> No, RV Phil is. I mean, percentage-wise, that's the percentage um, because the it's not reading the board yet. The oh, graphics okay, aren't reading okay. The board so yet. it's not yeah. reading the. Flop. I would I would assume I was confused. I would assume RV is a favorite. In the yeah, spot. it would have to be. Yeah, but um, Oliver, I'd assume that also Oliver has a lot of equity. <laughs> right, it's going to be close. Yeah, and OFC is in rough shape uh, OFC, versus yeah, these particular hands. This is just not a spot you want to be in. But yeah, does OFC I, give it up? I think he could get away from it. He can. I think he's probably correct to putting Oliver on the type of hand that he has, but I also I think he's got to be very concerned about Phil here, because this Phil, board is all over Phil's range. It is, but Phil can ship it with a lot of hands. <coughs> the question is, if if OFC calls, does Phil hold? <laughs> it's it's. I, I'm gonna say yes, but I mean it's a tough one. This has <laughs> we'll been see. an explosive We're gonna stream. See. We're going to see. What a hand here. This is a six I can. Man. I mean, what a hand. And we well, if OFC makes this call, we're going to have over a 20K pot. We well are going to get that over pot. 20K pot, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. There's the board. Jack to nine, all spades. There we go. So now we see the percentages here. RV Phil, 43%. Yeah. yeah. Oliver, okay. as you can see, has a lot of equity, and OFC is really hurting on this flop. OFC with top two. Man, I just feel terrible to be in this spot. Yeah, this is a rough spot. Man. I think it's lucky for OFC that there's three spades on the board. I think if there are two spades, or like, yeah, you would have a hard it'd time. Be, it'd I be would not, really hard. I would not be getting away from this hand. But <laughs> the fact be. that there's three spades really hurts his equity a bit, I think. It does. It does. And Oliver just <laughs> flopping a big hand for the two queens here. For but, I mean, opening a straight flush draw. But Phil can have a hand like ace-queen with ace of spades or ace-king, ace of spades. I mean, it's a tough, tough spot. And this is this is brutal. Figures. Yeah. Figures. Oliver has an overpair with the spade. And OFC... And call. we'll see if Phil can hold here in this big in this big spot. I think OFC is going to fold it. Man, he wants to put the money in. He does. Bad. He really does not. I don't blame it. him. This is the action that you want to see right here only at Poker House Dallas. So turn it up a little bit. OFC just said he thinks he's ahead. I think he said he folds. He said he folds. Yep. And... He right, they're going to run it twice. twice. <laughs> That's a smart move versus Mr. RV Phil. <laughs> Man, does RV Phil hold for this big $13,000 pot? Let's see. They're going two times. <laughs> and um, so far, yeah, Phil holding up. Phil winning the first board. First board for Phil. He needs to Locked dodge a spade. Path. He does need to dodge a spade. Ace of spades is going to be a chop. That's a chop. It's going to be a chop pot. <coughs> RV Phil. RV Phil still gets a little bit of money, though. Yeah, nice profit. Looks like each player profited a 1000 there. What a hand that was. What a, what a flop. A and I'm what action. You. I mean, <coughs> find me more action than this. What a hand. Yeah, man. Absolutely insane. 
I know he makes my ass a good nickname for the court. I think it's all like, what does he have? My guess was in the court now. He played like no hands, so he might as well be like nicking. Or I meant like a flea. Danny getting right back in action here, 75, and Phil <laughs> coming in with a kid. <laughs> Who's he asking about? <laughs> He's asking if, if, if Moneymaker is the son of Moneymaker. Oh. <laughs> That's awful. Uh, He's got a German son he didn't know. <laughs> All right. Phil 3 betting the king out of clubs and Sam. I like it. Cold call here with the ace jack. He does flop a jack. See what Phil does here. Phil so gonna bet small here, one and a quarter. We're gonna see AJ coming for the call. This middle pair. He does. Good card here for AJ. Let's see what Phil decides to do. He's going to bet again. Two and a quarter. And uh, AJ's he's going to come along for the call again. Phil's going to need some help on this river. He's going to need a king or an eight. Can Phil do it again? Or a huge bet. <laughs> this might be... Not the one. It's a nice card here for AJ. Yes, he improves the ace and queens. And it's a good card for Phil to potentially <coughs> try to represent as the pre-flop three better. And he does check back, and uh, AJ's going to take down this pot. Nice little pot for AJ. 14-10 in the middle. Time left here in the stream at Poker House Dallas. Playing a 5 10 quarter game. Match the stack. Moneymaker. King Jack of Spades. A moneymaker, very nice hand. Coming in for a raise under the gun. Raise 150. Danny with 90 to clubs. Danny gonna defend his big blind. <coughs> Pretty decent flop for Danny. Good flop for Moneymaker. A good flop for both of these guys. Mm -hmm. Definitely gonna see Moneymaker see that here. And um, see what Danny decides to come in for a check call or a check raise. Chooses the check call option. <coughs> Danny missing the turn. And I think we're going to see Moneymaker continue to bet on this turn. He wants to charge draws, get uh, get value from some more stacks. I think pens. he's going to go around Goes nope. for 600. 600, 600, yeah. Yeah, big bet. No, but I had a colonoscopy. About 80% pot here. They did, it's an HMO. They did it the wrong way. I'm telling them. Wrong hole, wrong hole. <laughs> I think Danny's just going to let it go. Uh, 
Yeah, Danny getting a pretty bad price on this turn and the uh, money maker. Taking down the net button here. Who do we have left here? <coughs> I'm not sure who, who, who are the left. remaining nets. Sam. So we've got Sam Clark. Carlos. And uh, Oliver. I don't think Oliver had it because he didn't win the top board on that all-in pot. Yeah. So that, I believe that's the rule is that you have to win. If you run it twice, you have to win the first You have top to win board. the first one. Yeah, the top board. Yeah. The first one's the natural board. So. The natural board, yeah. yeah. I'm shocked. Oh, he it. does oh, have it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, she has it. So. No, uh, so does Oliver. It looks like Oliver has it. So it looks like we're down to Sam Clark and uh, Carlos. Sam and Carlos. Okay. Sam and Carlos, yep. Carlos coming in for the race here. 175, 98 of hearts. Sure, she with the two tens. <coughs> yeah, sure, she. And Sam coming on with the key nine off here with 600. <laughs> he, uh, he does not want to be the net. And Shorty <coughs> might come in for the back jam here with the tens, thinking that Sam is a little out of line here, and he does. He did wow. this last night. I remember with the Ace Ten offsuit as well. Yes, I remember. Yeah, that. so good recognition here from Shorty. He does have a very strong hand. <coughs> and uh, he's going to take down about twelve hundred here. Yeah, Sam Clark is a little frustrated. <laughs> Having a rough night. Can't really get anything going. Every time he's tried to make a move, someone's played back at him. Right. We've all had those sessions. We have. Nice hand there for Shorshi. <laughs> well played. <coughs> Picking up a cool 1200 there without seeing a flop. Oh, yeah. I'm happy to win $1,200 without seeing a flop any day. <laughs> I'm happy to win $1,200. What do you want me to make for you? <laughs> German requesting for the German to be removed. <laughs> hey, Jay, coming up for 250 here with the King Jack. Carlos going to fold. Yeah, Carlos going to fold the 9 3. Carlos and uh, Sam still remaining. Looks like the 50 is on. And AJ with the queen eight. Sam Clark, king seven of spades. I'm not surprised he's putting in a raise in the hijack. Doesn't want to be the knit. <laughs> <laughs> OFC. The ace deuce of diamonds. And Danny on the fold five deuce of hearts. I still have 250 in the budget to be free rolling. Are you saying that in chance? Not sure, sure she's hand. So no Danny folded. Yeah, Danny folded. It's like Carlos going to lead out here. Okay, Carlos. Jack Trey. With the top pair. It's like OFC called. OFC. It's a backdoor and a gut shot. 
A three would be a disaster card for Carlos. <laughs> yes, it would. Carlos checks. Nope. OC checks. Green hearts. <laughs> Carlos going to win here with this track. <laughs> and Sam Clark is going to have to pay everyone. <laughs> Sam Clark is. He's about 400 there on the knit game. We probably have about 15 minutes left in our stream. Okay. I'd well, venture to guess. It's been a good one tonight. It's, it's been, been a good one. A lot of fun, a lot of action. Strong viewership. If you guys haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah. Helps us out a lot here. Helps us continue to bring this great action to you. And thank you, Poker House, putting on this stream and all the dealers, all the staff that works hard here to keep this game going. OFC, call the 150, AJ with Ace, Queen of Clubs. Danny Folds, Moneymaker Folds, Carlos. Six, nine of clubs, dinner for two hand. Look Carlos getting in there. Getting in the mix. Doesn't want to see clubs. I can show you the profit loss board, yes. It'll pop up right after this hand, and look at this. AJ. Flopping the nut flush draw. Carlos flopping nine high club draw. Not good for him. Great OFC. flop for AJ. Ace do soft. Hey, Jimmy. Looks like he subscribed. Or, I'm sorry, not Jimmy. JTMNY35. Thank you very much. <coughs> Carlos going to come along for the call. All right. Good Ace turn for space. Carlos. Yeah, it is. Picking up a straight draw. Just going to get him in more trouble in this hand. AJ going to check back here. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Carlos. The three of clubs. Yeah, he's been he's been <coughs> running on a rough run tonight. And checks. checks. No AJ's going to bet. Yeah, depending on the size that AJ's bet, probably determine if Carlos is going to check raise or check call. Goes for a pretty small bet. So Carlos might be tempted to try and uh, check raise for value here. Carlos is probably going to go for a check race here. Looks like he, oh, he's thinking about it. Race. He does. He min raises. 1,000. Interesting spot here if you're at AJ. Right. You consider putting in the three better, you're just going to call the board is paired, so he doesn't have the nuts. We know he's not folding. He does just call. Yeah, nice hand there for AJ. Rena, all the, all the time bringing in a lot of support. <laughs> Rena, I I want to have some of the cake. I need to support the cake. <laughs> I've heard it's really good. <laughs> all right, let's bring up this win loss here. RB Phil. 12,210. So, <laughs> Danny up 4,300. Oliver up 1,500. Moneymaker up a humble 865. Shorshi up 505. AJ up 115. Sam Clark down 3,800. Carlos down 54. And OFC down 5,830. Right back to the action. OFC with the 10 8. Bump it up to 75. Damn. <laughs> Rena, I would love to skip it, but I can't. They'd get real mad at me. Oh, you have a game on the 16th? 
Yeah, I have one to the ten, yes. You wanna go? <laughs> you have what? You wanna go? Uh, okay. <laughs> Where is it? I'll tell you after street. Alright, alright, let's go. Nobody popping anything here. Danny's got a. Uh, Danny's got ace high. Probably gonna take this down with the C bet. <laughs> nice hand, Danny. Always makes me nervous when people are holding drinks like over the RFID table. <laughs> the yeah. thing. Oh if man. It spills, it's no good. <laughs> I've seen a lot of drinks spill. Yeah. I remember watching a dealer in a home game in the box had a beer in front of him. He'd <laughs> lean over and spill the beer all over the table. <laughs> <laughs> Only in a home game. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, Carlos here to seven four. Looks like he's gonna bump it up to three fifty. Three fifty. RV filled king eight. Yeah, Carlos bumping up to three fifty. <coughs> uh oh. And Sam Clark. This might be a three bet. Yeah, he's Sam Clark is not gonna be folding the fan. I don't think so. The second Sunday of the month. I should be able to definitely make one. I just need to check the schedule. Uh, but Reno, you have my word. I'll definitely come out as soon as I can. <laughs> hey, JT. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thanks for liking and subscribing today. <laughs> Nordic here with a funny story. <laughs> All over the table. Wow. That's something I haven't seen in a poker game, but I've seen some interesting stuff. I'm glad I haven't seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you something similar. I remember we went to a blackjack game in the casino one day, and my friend's coming up to the table, and the table's empty. The dealer's standing there, and he comes up, puts his hands on the chair, and goes, all right, I'm ready to gamble. And the guy says, sir, the guy just urinated all over the chair. I lost my mind. <laughs> They're waiting on the cleaners to come over. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was laughing pretty hard. <laughs> I was like, first bad beat of the day. That is hilarious. <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah, that was pretty rough. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. <laughs> Sam Clark with the two fives. OFC, are we playing the Jack 4 game? Coming in for 1,100 here at the Jack 4. <laughs> are we playing the Jack 4 game or are we just mixing it up? I think we're... Might just be mixing it up. OFC feels it's going to work out and he can get RV fell off the deuce tray. I like his chances. I don't know if I like his chances. Fall <laughs> <laughs> in with the deuce three. <laughs> he wants to be OFC so badly. RV Phil says, I am a man that doesn't fold this deuce tray. Sam, We're getting in the mix. Sam Clark got my call with the spives as well. I don't blame him. Let's see an action board. All right, Jack, eight ace. Oh, we'll see what the best of it. <laughs> yeah, Bob's the best Phil. man. Good board for his uh, range. An army Phil yeah. might get some intentions. Some ill intentions possibly here on the turn. Army Phil figures out a way to win this pot. He is my hero. Well, let me tell you what. He <laughs> doesn't have to figure out a way to win this pot. He's been my hero. Well, he is my hero, but he's <laughs> even more my hero. <laughs> Sam Clark with the two fives. I didn't get a free buffet. I think that uh, OFC is going to end up winning this one. Did not see what the river was. I don't, I don't see it either.
Oh, it's a deuce. Deuce of spades. RV fell with a pair. RV rivering. Not the best hand, though. <coughs> Sam thinking about taking a shot at this pot. I don't think he gets it through, though. And there's a lot of money in this pot. And he rips it. Never mind. This should get through. I didn't realize how much money was in this pot. Like the play here. Me too. And OFC. Is he going to put it in there with just a jack? Yeah, it's a really tough spot here for OFC. It is. If anyone can make a call like this, it is OFC. And he makes the call. Oh, my oh. gosh. Wow. 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 OFC's a magician. And OFC is going to break the spot here with the jack force. OFC. <laughs> OFC. What a legend. Man. And we thought RV Phil was a force I mean, to be reckoned. OFC. Yeah. Another force. OFC is an absolute Not beast. Not to be reckoned with. He's a beast. Wow. He's, he's an animal. That man. And he snapped it, too. He, he called it very snap fast. It. Yeah. <clears throat> when OFC feels it, he knows it. Man. Wow. I like the play there by Sam, but OFC sniffed it out. OFC. Playing tough. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, we got Sam Clark in the chat. Wow. Yeah, he did snap. <laughs> OFC making the squeeze there with the jack four off. Checking back middle pair twice and then snapping off the river bet. OFC one scary man. He is very scary. <coughs> but love the heart, Sam Clark. Thank you for coming out and playing. Thank you, we Sam. Really appreciate having you. Yes, sir. Uh, Sam, are you playing tomorrow, the Saturday stream? <laughs> Sam playing tough, made a great play. Yeah. But OFC, OFC is just something else. But man, yeah. <coughs> You're up against, oh, I mean, I respect the heart. He's up against RV Phil and OFC. I know. Two guys. <laughs> OFC had the Robbie that hand, the old Jack Four. He did have the Robbie. <laughs> All right, Sam, we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, you make a comeback tomorrow. Just not against me. <laughs> All right, Sam. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck, Sam. We'll see you in the mix. Oliver popping two pair here with the seven to, for the seven tray. Looks like this was a limp pot. And sevens and trays for Oliver. We're going to see Phil call here. <coughs> Can Phil give us some magic on the river? He does he with the ace. Does. Ace is up. Oh, my gosh. And this is a Phil. money. This is a money card for <coughs> Phil. Big money card. And Phil coming in for a raise. And this is going to be a brutal spot here for uh, Mr. Oliver. Oh, man. He does. RV he does pay it off. I don't blame him. RV Phil. RV Phil. River and Ace is up. Very nice hand. Let's check out the winnings now. That uh, let's after that a, big hand. Let's, let's take, take a, a look. look. RV Phil up eleven seven. Danny forty eight. OFC up seventeen hundred. Great comeback there for OFC. Oliver up seven fifteen. I think it's gonna come back up. Yeah, it'll pop back up on the screen here. Moneymaker <laughs> winning a little bit as well. Shorshi up a little bit. A AJ up. I think AJ made a big comeback. He did. Yeah. Carlos down about 59.60. <laughs> oh, looks like we got a 1600 straddle on this hand. Wow. What? <clears throat> Maybe we got an 800. We definitely have an 800. RV's got 800 out. Well, I heard the boys are in town to play tonight, and they didn't let us down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OFC wanting to jack four. That's right. So it looks like we got the 800 on. RB put the 800 on. The buck stopped at AJ. He's on the uh, he's on the button here. All right. 
And oh, let's see what the Jack Eight of Clubs. Only seven ninety to call. I don't know what the. Uh, oh, it was just a straddle for eight hundred. Yeah, straddle for eight hundred. <laughs> Pretty much everyone's in the blind this hand. Under the gun, started at the button. Carlos. No queen seven. Carlos going to come in for the call here. Sure, she might put in a raise. Yeah, sure, she. This could be a shove spot here for sure, she. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here it comes. It's a 2,000 to go. Harvey Phil said, Harvey hey, listen. Harvey Phil making the call. <laughs> and uh, Carlos coming in as well. Anybody call? Yeah. <laughs> Just got a casual 6K pot here going to the flop. Casual. 61.85 in the skillet. And we're in the mix here with Shorshi with top pair. Yeah, great spot here for Shorshi. Pop a top pair. Both his opponents have second pair. He's going to check. Wow. And Carlos, second pair. Harvey Phil. <coughs> Shorshi going to look for some value here on this turn. Harvey Phil. And Harvey's not going anywhere with his queen. No, he's not going anywhere. Carlos? Carlos gets out of the way. I don't blame him. Interesting In river card. Space. Sure, she really does not like to see this river. Not at all. A lot of hands got there. Harvey Phil's given up, too. Yeah, Harvey checked back, and sure, she <laughs> is going to be very happy to win this pot. Very nice hand for sure, she. And how sick would it have been if RV Phil just ripped it on the river? I, I don't see how short she could call. I man, I I'm, agree. I'm throwing my hand in the muck there. <laughs> Tell you that. That's a very very bad run out there for short she, but nice hand. TLS. Appreciate the support. We've had over 100 viewers all night. That's been good. Yeah, thank you guys for sticking with us. Really appreciate you guys here. It's been a hell of a stream. It has been down here at Poker House Live here in the DFW. I mean, where can you find a game like this with RV Phil, OFC? I mean, just an explosive game. And look at this. You got Oliver picking up the ace game here. Coming in All for the right. three bat versus Shorshi. He's got the Queen Nine of Hearts. Shorshi, Queen Nine of Hearts, Oliver for the Ace King. Oliver coming in for 11. I like it. Shorshi looks interested. <laughs> he, is, he lets it go. And he's giving it up. I don't blame him. We've got three more hands left here on the stream. Take a look at the stack sizes. Some big stacks here, short each 21k. AJ 19,000. <laughs> I don't think money, I don't think Phil has 12,000. He has over 12,000 because he's up 11 or 12k. Yeah, <laughs> that can't be right. He did lose a few pots, but I think he's only in for five. Okay. So he's having a good night. He is. Sure well, maybe, maybe he is only up about 7K. Phil's got the 200 on. Stream tomorrow night's going to start at 6, Rena. <coughs> it's going to be a fun one. Shorshi popping top pair again with the ace. Yep. And checking. Carlos with bottom pair. Harvey Phil in the mix with the old queen four. <coughs> I 
And Carlos coming in for the check raise here on the turn with the seven <coughs> deuce. Now we're getting interesting. Look at this. Carlos here. Raised to 1,500. Carlos says, I'm not going to be pushed around. I'm going to take this pot down. Is sure she going <coughs> to... Is sure she going to lay it down? I think so, if he's showing the ace. Carlos showing the bluff. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Carlos in the mix, man. Love it. Love it, Carlos. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> nice fold, Carlos. Nice play, Carlos. <coughs> six Central tomorrow. Yep. Friday night, six Central. Saturday night, six Central. Two more hands left, and then probably a flip. Sounds about right. All right, AJ here. Can like the 100 is on again. <coughs> the 100 is definitely on. OFC with the ace 10. Probably going to raise it up to about a couple hundred here. And two and a quarter. Two and a Q. Carlos. Carlos coming in for the call here at the Queen of Hearts. The infamous Delmer hand back from West Virginia. And RV is going to defend the jack five. <coughs> RV says, nope, not on my blind. <laughs> Nine, seven, four, two diamonds. Doesn't hit anyone. Okay. Great turn for OFC. OFC making top, top. Carlos open-ended. Mm -hmm. Phil's got a gutter. RV Phil in there with the gutter. <coughs> Probably going to see Carlos call here. No check raise would be interesting. Check raise would be really interesting. Three of spades. Oh, let's see. The I feel like he's going to go some value. Yeah, I like this. Carlos probably just going to fold. Nice hand for OFC. It's <laughs> 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 like they're going to do a $200 flip. $200 flip. I like it. <laughs> now we're cooking. Picking up the King Jack. Coming for a rate. Oh, he's just going to call. All right. Yeah, Oliver's going to do it to sevens. Looks like he's grabbing raisin chips, and he does. 350. All right. Carlos coming in with the ace jack. <coughs> Phil's not folding the 10 three of clubs. Looks like we're going to have a four way, four way hand going to the flop here. OFC in there. King Jack and. Carlos with ace jack. Army Phil 10 3 of clubs. Let's see what kind of flop we get. All right. Looks like an ace 9 5. Carlos flopping the best of it. Way the best of it. And Phil bent right out into the field here. <laughs> Just 10 high. <laughs> Phil said, here you go. Oliver making the call. 2 7. Carlos as well. Great turn for Carlos. Wow. Carlos got the board locked up. Phil sh slowing down here. Oliver has to be a little concerned that one of these guys has an ace, given the action. Yep. And, and what wow. a for Carlos. Carlos quad quads. aces. And uh, this is a this could be a money card for Carlos. Um, could definitely get a call from a hand like Oliver's. Wow, and just and shoves. Carlos shoves it. He's trying to target it, maybe a hand like two kings, two queens. Trying to get the max here. Oliver's going to be in a tough spot. But I think he can find a fold here. It's a very big bet. 
Looks like this may be the last hand. Wow, he's asking for a count. If Carlos gets a call here, <coughs> this hand could put him in the green for the night and really change the uh, the results of the session. Yep, and fortunes can change very fast in the game of poker. And Oliver, not a believer. Fold looks like. Yeah. Gonna give uh, it Carlos taking down the last hand with quads. Nice hand, Carlos. Shows, Just quads. Shows the jack. <laughs> nice hand, Mr. Carlos. It looks like that's going to do it. The players are going to do a $100 flip to close out the action. Yep. And um, let's pull up the uh, pull up the winnings. We'll see how everyone did. Sure, let's see here. We got Ari Phil closing it out. 62.30. Nice night for him. <laughs> sure, she came in pretty late and won a fair amount of money. 58. 50. Danny up 4,700. OC up 2,250. Moneymaker up a nickel. Oliver up a nickel. AJ down 25. Carlos down 59.65. Some uh, some players had already left the table. They got uh, that's true too. Exterminated by uh, RV Phil. See the old VPIP stack status today. OFC up there 53%. RV Phil 43%. Carlos, 38. Shorsha, 37. AJ, 32. Moneymaker, 21. Oliver, 20. Danny, 17. Looks <laughs> like there's a little side bet for a Barney chip. All right, let's get this flip rolling. Who's got a straight? AJ's got a straight. To AJ the 10. looks like going to close yeah, it out with it. Yeah. Looks like AJ's going to have the best hand here. Yeah. It's so that's going to put AJ in the green for the night. He's down so. 25. Yeah, he was down. Now he's yeah. going to be up a good 600 and change. Yeah, and he made a nice comeback. So. So. All right. Looks like we're going to be closing this game out here. And I'd like to thank everybody for stopping in. Like and subscribe. If you're interested, please come down and play at Poker House live here in Dallas. You can get a hold of Eddie Bat to get onto the stream. Or if you don't want to play on the stream, there's plenty of games to play off the stream. And I'm going to put the commentary camera on. I am Gator, and this is Hayden Fortini. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow for the 5 5 10 mandatory quarter streams going on tomorrow. I know there's going to be a mandatory quarter. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lot of action. A lot of fun if you want to see some great action. Tune in at 6 p.m. Central Time and check out Mr. Gator. All right. Thank you, everyone, for poker. watching. Take care. Good night, care. everybody. Peace.
Yeah, we can stay right here. You just had straight. Yeah, just did yeah. the nice yeah. 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 And we're allowed to have our phones yeah. on. Yeah, you can have your phones now. Dim the lights, no longer. No longer. No company exposure. We don't have to show, we don't have to show our cameras. Uh, you're out of here too? Gives me a rebate on the swap uh, off thing. <laughs> so who's, who's here? Just four of us? Uh, I'm not sure. Are we gonna get one Somebody might come. We'll see. Oh, I got Thursday. I'm not very sure to be honest. <laughs> you, you wouldn't even think you're, you're no, too honorable. No, no. If I leave, the game breaks, then I'll stay. Uh, do you want to, if they want to announce that we have seats open class in 25, y'all want to open it up? Hey, uh, Tom, it's off the screen. Maybe it's okay oh, today. Oh, wait, I need a cut card. Thank you.